a green light to come on here, still waiting. We are on. Hey guys, how are you going? So today on Big Out Sport, we're here for another one of these NBL clashes. Today, guys, we've got Cairns Taipans going up against Melbourne United. Now, this is a difficult match to predict because, for me, um, I think that Cairns are a pretty good team, but they've actually started off this season uh, just the one win and two losses in comparison to Melbourne United, who have had just the one game, but they did win that one game, and they won it relatively well on the end, despite not really getting off to a great start, to be completely honest with you. Obviously, they um, were down at halftime against the 36ers, but in the end, they rocketed home to win by about 25 points. So, you know what? Like, I've known you know, United are very heavy favorites for this year to, to be doing something, and, um, you know, I back him in to, to be having a good performance tonight, but I actually genuinely believe we might be seeing Cairns win tonight for their first game of the season. I feel like they, uh, they've they been unlucky. Obviously, they lost the Kings, and they lost to... Uh, who was the game we did the other night? I think it was the, the Hawks. Uh, but I'm actually backing in Cairns to, to at least make it close here and make it a, a two-point game or even take the win. I know Melbourne United are probably the favourites, but um, I just get a, 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 sneaky little, a sneaky little feeling that Cairns are going to be up for this one and, uh, you know, Cam Oliver's going to have a big one. AJ Ellis says, come on, Cairns. Mason Experience says, Hawks, um, still waiting for NFL to finish. The thing is here in Fiji, man, is that, like, ESPN is used by ESPN Australia, um, but for some reason, it says on the TV that it is on. It says on the TV that this NBL game is on there, but it doesn't come on. It hasn't come on at all. It hasn't, but it, it comes on, right? It's too weird. Somebody infuriated. Infuriated. It's always just the NFL bloody you know, snippets and shit. Uh, but let me know what your predictions are for today's game, guys. I am going to go, and I'm going to say Cairns, 88-86. I'm going to go with a bit of a shock here. Yeah, you know, I'm taking them shock. I'm taking the shock. So let me know what your score predictions are in the chat. Also, rest in peace to AJ Ellis, who obviously is a Packers fan, so uh, unfortunately uh, for him, but fortunately for the rest of us, the old Packers, they couldn't come through trumps this time, but um, you know, yeah, it was a, a very good game then, obviously Tom Brady is the GOAT. Uh, Carlos Chellis says, do you go for Cairns? I don't, I don't have an NBL team, man, I just get around the sport because it's a local league. Um, but I don't have a, um, a, a a team myself. I just like to, uh, well, it's, it's also good to stream it when there's consider obviously nothing on on a Monday night here in uh, in the Southern Hemisphere. So it's pretty good stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I, I still think Cairns will win this. And I, I, you're probably saying that because you think that I'm a bit biased here in regards to saying Cairns might win, but I think Cairns are a good team. They just haven't clicked yet. And I think they will click. I think they will click. I don't think they're going to win the comp as much as I was saying before the season started. But I think they'll click here today. So I'm, I'm giving them a good rap, giving them a nice little rap here. But let me know what your score predictions are. Uh, don't forget, guys, tomorrow night as well, we're going to be doing the A-League. Looking forward to, I think it's Mariners and Wanderers, I think it is, or something like that. I'm not too sure. Brave Liam says, no idea any of these teams, but let's go someone. Well, someone's always going to win. You know, that's a good thing. You know, someone's going to win. So you're getting behind the right team there. You are getting behind. But then again, someone's also going to lose. So you might be going for the losing team there. I'm not too sure. Uh, but this is obviously Cairns, Taipans, and Melbourne United. So Cairns and, and Melbourne are both pretty good teams. You know, even though Cairns have started off one and two, they're going to be a good team this year, regardless of their uh, poor start, I guess. Uh, but then again, you look at most sports, man. Like, you genuinely look at most sports, and a lot of the competitions are very, I, I wouldn't say weak, but... Uh, struggling to find the ultimate, you know, top tier quality that we're used to in and out um, every single season. Because obviously, you know, there's been a whole hiccup in the last year that has prevented from the, you know, the just the, the general movement of going year to year. There's been such a significant difference between the last season, the last real season, and this season in most sports um, that, you know, I, I feel like we're still, you know, we're seeing the effects of it. Look at the Premier League, for example. Look at the NBA, I guess. Look at, uh, look at the, not necessarily the NFL, but there's a lot of teams worldwide that, uh, although they are absolutely ripper teams, they are struggling because they just don't have the ability to make that next step into this next year after this prolonged break. Look at Conor McGregor. He's a perfect example. AJ Ellis says, we will bounce back next season. It's all good. No. Uh, Braith Latham says, Western Sydney Wanderers and Jets. It's Friday. I think tomorrow is Mariners and Victory. Mariners victory. That's probably the one. Anderson Lowe says, score prediction. I have gone with Cairns 88-86. That's who I've gone. I didn't. I was not impressed with Melbourne United's first half start against the 36ers. I think that they started very poorly there. And that was against a pretty average 36ers side who haven't been necessarily horrific this season. They've actually got a couple of wins to their name now. Uh, but in the same sense, I feel like that that first half start, you you perform like that against an actual decent team. And you know, you're going to see them blow out a lead early days and you're not going to be able to chase it down. So that's the problem here. So Melbourne United, obviously, I've only seen one game. There's only been one game for them this season. Um, and you have to go based off what you've seen. But in the same sense, Melbourne United are justified favorites considering they did end 
end up going and beating the 36ers by about 25 points in that one. Um, so, look, it, it is a bit of a, a, a risky uh, suggestion there. It's a little bit of a risky suggestion. By the way, guys, we are still waiting here for the first tip. Hit that th thumbs up button if you haven't already. And subscribe if you're on your round here. Seymour says, yes, Melbourne victory vs Perth FC. Ah, oh, Melbourne victory vs Perth. No, surely not. That's not tomorrow, is it? I thought Marin's played tomorrow. I could be wrong. I'll have a look. I could be wrong. I'll have a look. It is Melbourne victory vs Perth. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, well, Perth are going to absolutely romp a room that one in. They're going to romp a room of that one in. Uh, Jagger says, uh, sorry, Jaska Deep says, first quarter score prediction. Gee whiz, first quarter. Uh, I don't know, mate. Uh, I'll go 22 20. Uh, 22 20, or no, I'll go a little bit higher. I'll go 20, 20. I'll go 22 20. I'll go 22 20 to Cairns. I don't think it'll be a ridiculously high scoring game. Well, I guess 88 86 is relatively high scoring. Uh, so Cam Oliver versus obviously Jock Londale are the two head to head today. Um, Ke uh, Cam Oliver's got 18.33 points on average with Jock Landale with 10. Uh, field goal percentage 46% to 38%. So Oliver started off very well. Obviously, Oliver is one of the primo uh, players in this competition. He's an absolute monster. One of his slam dunks against the Sydney Kings was actually disgraceful. It was disgraceful and disheartening to any Kings fan. Like, they got absolutely slaughtered. Absolutely slaughtered in that, um, uh, absolutely slaughtered. What? Pato Cat Smith spotted a Titans troll. Are you serious? Are you joking, mate? Nah, don't give it, don't do it, son. Don't do it. Which Smith, though? Brand Smith or Cameron Smith? I'm not too sure. I don't know why it's frozen here. My, my internet's gone fine, so it's not me. It might be just them. Might, I'm going to refresh the Twitch. Uh, Mason Experience says, Landau or Bogut, who would win? Um, uh, look, well, Bogut's a little bit older now. <laughs> like, are you saying, like, Le Bogut is prime or, or what? What are you saying? Are you saying Bogut's prime? Um, the NBL here is, like, freezing right now on Twitch. It doesn't really make sense because my internet's fine, so it's not me. And this stream is going perfectly. So two likes away from 50, though, guys. Hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. Two likes away from 50. Uh, Anderson Lowe says, I don't know who to support since I'm supporting Sydney, but I guess Cairns because they got Scott Machado as a, as a Lakers fan. Well, Machado's a good little player here for, for Cairns as well. Oh, he's not been that great start this season, but in the same sense, get around the old Machado. Every time I see Machado, though, I think of Manny, Maca uh, Manny Machado with the, uh, with the, well, he used to be Baltimore Orioles, and now he's with the San Diego Padres. Mason Experience says, Sydney King Bogut. Sydney King, oh, jeez. Um... Uh, tough question, but anyway, it's going to be the start of the quarter here. I'll go Landau. I'll, I'll genuinely go Landau overall uh, with Sydney King, Bogut, FYI. Uh, that's going to be a turnover there from Cairns early days. Now, the way Cairns need to win this game is just basically uh, preventing the uh, Melbourne United. Well, actually, no, just starting off very strongly here. We saw that United started off very weak against the... Uh, and that's a bad start there for Melbourne United. It's going to be a turnover there, and Cam Oliver will get the steal. Um, you know, we saw Melbourne United start off very poorly against the 36ers. And if, uh, if, if Cairns can do the same, they can blow them out early and they can take it away. At the Titans under 19th trial of early. Wow, we. All right. Well, we're now talking, son. <laughs> now we're talking, son. Now we're talking. And nothing's obviously. He's obviously moved up to the Gold Coast regardless of a contract. So, like, there's no guarantee that that means he's with the Titans. It just means that he's on the Gold Coast, and that's where he has a house with his family. Uh, so, don't get too excited just yet. Me. I'm talking to me here, but Melbourne here. Back it up, back it up, back it up. Chance here. Ooh, two free throws. Coming up for Melbourne United. Um, Mason Experience says, I'm going to jump off the stream because you are ahead, and it's kind of ruining for me. Uh, well... Well, how are you behind me? I'm watching it on Twitch. <laughs> I'm watching it on Twitch. I should be behind you. So nine minutes, 20 to go here of the first quarter and Cameron Oliver with two personal fouls already. Wow. In the first 40 seconds of this game, there's two personal fouls against Cameron Oliver and that is not great. That's going to be the first free throw made there by Melbourne United. So it is 1-0 here to United. ESPN at the moment. Yeah, it's not on my ESPN. It says it's on, but it's not on. It's frustrating. And the second free throw is made. So it is 2-0 here to Melbourne United. But the big news to come out of this first 40 seconds, and that was Jock Landau, by the way, the big news to come out of this first 40 seconds is that Cameron Oliver is already on two personal fouls. Wow, damn, well, we. Alrighty, so Cairns going to bring it past the half court right now. They're going to drive forward, drive forward, get it out to the three-point line. Gets it back to Dang. Dang gets it outside for the three. Inside to uh, Jawai. Jawai going to back him up, back him up, back him up. Underneath, and he will miss that one. Jeez, how do you miss that, actually, from that angle? 
So nine minutes to go here first quarter. Melbourne United here for three, for three, for three. Oh, beautiful three there. That's a beautiful three there by Melbourne United. So now they got five at zero here. Eight minutes to, did in to, uh, eight minutes to, did to go here of the first quarter. Cairns put it up inside and turnover. No, it's going to be still staying here with the Titans. That was a really nice three there by Melbourne United. And pretty average defense, but in the same sense, that was a nice three there just to, to walk into it and go boom, boom, boom. Was it Jack White who hit that three too? Cairns here, going to get it off to Jawai out back. He's looking for a screen around. He will get the ball out to Machado. Machado here, he's going to drive inside. He's driving inside. Machado goes up top. It should be a foul. No, he's not. He's going to get it off inside. Great pass, great assist. And that'll be the first points of the night here for Cairns so far. So it is 5-2 here to Melbourne United. AFL shoots up. I'm so used to your A-Elite stream, so I turn this on and uh, see 5 nil and think, wow. <laughs> Firstly, appreciate you tuning in. Secondly, uh, well, yeah, this is a pretty high score in uh, A-Elite game, 7-2 right now, Melbourne United. Uh, but 8 minutes, 14 to go here of the first quarter. Scotty Hobson with two points there. Oh, that's a brilliant three there by Cairns. Uh, and that will be uh, Dimmy, 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 Dimmerich. Jerich, sorry, not Dimmerich. Uh, Jerich. Dimmy Dimmy is who I call him, though. But 7-5 here is the score. Eight minutes to go here of the first quarter. And Melbourne United going to drive inside here. Fall away two. And he will miss that one, unfortunately. That was a pretty decent shot choice there. Uh, but the fadeaway, unfortunately, did not go down for him. He gets it outside here to... He drives inside, drives inside, drives inside. Puts it up. Oh, tied game 7-7. Good play there by... De um, sorry, not... De I keep going to say dang. Gee whiz. Uh, quite Noy. Quite Noy actually had a very good uh, first game of the season. In my personal opinion, I think Kuwait Noy's not been too bad, but still are. Uh, one from their three games. And that'll be a foul against Cairns. They're giving away a few fouls here early. Giving away a few fouls early, but it is 7-7. Tie game right now. Tie game. Nicholas Daisy says, how was the loss against the Lakers? Lakers for life. Um, I love how people talk like that as if like they aren't bandwagoners. Like, okay, cool, you're a Lakers fan. You're expected to win that. Like, I'm a Bulls fan. We've been shit outs, and I am not a bandwagoner. So... Um, it's great for you to be a bandwagon, that's cool, but just accept that, you know, your support's a little bit weak. So, 7 minutes, 20 to go here of the first quarter. 7-7, seven, seven, and Melbourne United here from the three-point line. Hit the three. That's a boom, boom, boom. 10-7. Ten, 10-7 seven. Ten, seven here to Melbourne United. Chris Goulding with the three. And it's going to be... Um, it's going to be Cairns here now with the ball. They're moving it around. Gets it off to Jawai. Jawai's going to back him up, back him up, back him up, put him up. And that's a good two-pointer there. That's a really nice backup and slot in there for Nathan Jawai. So he's, had, he's one from two so far. He missed his first one, but he does get that one relatively easily. And Melbourne United here with the ball. They're going to back it off. Now they're going to drive through to the rim. Now he's going to go around the screen. He's going to now go for the three, for the three. Oh, wow. The threes are really uh, dropping already here for Melbourne United in this first quarter. They really are starting off strong here. Scotty Hobson um, hits his first three. That's his fifth point of the game. And I think he's 100% from the field so far. So Cairns come back here. They're now down by four points. He gets it outside here to the left. They're looking for Jawai again to back him up. He's going to back him up. He's going to back him up. He's going to get it inside. Good little pass there. Oh, he's going to miss the shot. It's going to be a late foul there. And it's going to be two free throws coming up here for uh, Kuat Noi. Kuat Noi, I think it's because of the headband, but he does, he does give me a you know, smaller Pascal Siakam vibe about him. He really does. He gives me a smaller Pascal Siakam vibe. Not as strong, not as dominant. Um, but then again, it's not like Siakam has exactly been like that. So 13-9 here is the score. Rossi says, Hi, Brian. Rossi from Indonesia. Good on you, champion. Who are you going for in this game? Who are you going for? Welcome all the way in Indonesia. So Kuat Noi here at the line, going for two free throws here to make it a 13-11 game. The first free throw goes up, and the first free throw is hit. So it is 13-10 here with 16, 6 minutes and 18 seconds to go here of the first quarter. Two from two for Melbourne United and one from one from Cairns. Kyle Tripp says, you're going to the victory game tomorrow? What do you mean I'm going to the victory game tomorrow? I'll be streaming it. Yeah, I'll be streaming it. Tomorrow is my last night before I head back to Australia on Wednesday. So six minutes, 17 to go here of the first quarter. And it is a two-point game right now. Melbourne United here with the ball. They're looking for they're looking for another three, to be honest with you. They've started off really strongly from three. They drive. No, they put it out for three. Here's the three. Here's the three. Here's the three. Oh, Golding. Oh, my God. Chris Golding's having an absolute bang again. He had a great start in that game against the 30. Well, he had an okay start against the 36ers. Uh, but, wow, we started off very strongly here. And that was Hobson with an assist, by the way. Machado has a look away pass to Jawai, but Jawai can't put it back. So United here bring the ball past the half court. He goes up top, and wow, he's going to miss that layup. Wow. 
relatively easy layup there for Melbourne United. He's going to miss it. It's going to be a three here for Cairns. He's going to miss that one. Stupid shot choice as well. It's going to be Jock Landau here for the rebound. Gets it off outside here. Melbourne United here with the ball at 16 to 11. Jock Landau with two rebounds so far. And Melbourne United here from a deep two, deep two, deep two. Oh, he misses that one. But Landau with the rebound again. Gets it outside. Uh, no, it's what Jack White, sorry. And Golding again for three. Oh, my God. This guy's out of control right now. Oh, my God. Golding is out of control right now. Wowchie mama. Chris Golding has got three from three from the three-point line. And he's already, I believe, on 11 points here. Ouchie. Uh, college trips, I'm going. I'm good on you, Timmy. Anderson Lowe is probably the bullet. So who do I go for? I don't actually have a team, man. I don't even. Uh, I don't even have it. I don't have a team, man. I just get around the local league. Obviously, I'm an NBA fan, but when I get around other sports in other uh, countries, I also like to support the local leagues, and that's why I do A League as well. Because obviously, I'm a Premier League fan at heart. Um, but I want to uh, also support the local sport. Uh, Joey says, "Bro, NBL is on ESPN. Uh, it is for you guys, but even though this uses Australia um, ESPN, apparently it's not on ESPN for me over here." Uh, but the first timeout has been used here, guys. It is 19-11 to Melbourne United. Don't forget, hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. And subscribe if you are new around here. Uh, but uh, yeah, so tomorrow, obviously, is my last day in Fiji. I go to, um, I've got the Chicago Bulls going against the Boston Celtics tomorrow, followed by uh, Melbourne Victory versus Perth Glory. And then the day after, I'll be heading back to Australia. Nicholas Stacey says, if you didn't follow the Brisbane Raw, who would you follow? Uh, well, no. Well, it's about A-League tomorrow, man. And, and also, that's ridiculous. What are you talking about? <laughs> so, 19-11 here. Five minutes, 13 to go. Come on. A good game. I don't want Melbourne United to blow this one out. I don't want this to be a blowout, please. Like, come on, man. I really don't want it to be a blowout. It's not going to be, in my opinion, but in the same sense. Like, you know, Cairns are one and two. They haven't got off to a good start. And Cameron Oliver, with, Cameron Oliver with those two personal fouls in that first 40 seconds of the game will really hamper them going forward because he's not going to be able to get the points that really they need to be competing here with Melbourne United tonight, especially considering that Chris Golding is absolutely flying here. He's absolutely gotten off to an incredible start. So quite Noy here. With the ball, he gives it off to, uh, oh, sorry, Dang. Dang gets it off to Noy. Back to Dang. Dang backs him up, backs him up, puts it up, and Dang will get the offensive rebound from his miss, and he'll put it in for the two. So it is now 19 to 13 here with 4 minutes 53 to go of the first quarter. Nice little offensive rebound there and puts it back. So it's going to be uh, Melbourne United here with the ball. They're going to drive past the half court. Macho Deng only just came on, by the way. Oh, wow, that was poor defense. Landau's going to get an easy free. Salam a dunk Aruno. That was terrible defense there by the Cairns Taipans. And Jock Landau's going to get the easiest slam dunk of his life. All right, so Machado here is going to bring the ball past the half court. He's got Deng behind him. He's got uh, quite Noy on the left-hand side. Deng with the ball. He's going to get it back here to Machado. Machado here looking for the uh, looking for Noy underneath. He gives it off to Deng. Gives it to Jawai. Jawai puts it up. And Jawai gets the two. Jawai's doing pretty well um, in this game so far. He's getting a lot of uh, base points around that rim. Uh, they just can't seem to defend him right now. He's missed a couple, but that's basically because of, because of his inaccuracy rather than the fact that he hasn't had a relatively open shot. That's going to be a turnover here. Turnover here by Melbourne United. It will come back here for the Cairns. That happens. Cam Oliver, though, he's obviously still out here and probably won't be coming back out here in this first quarter. He'll probably he'll probably have to come out around the midway point of the... Oh, no, he will come out here. Wow. That's a very... Um, this is a very, very ballsy move here. Very ballsy move to bring him out here in the first quarter. I probably would have left him out until the second quarter considering that, you know, Kent's haven't exactly been absolutely slaughtered here without him. Um, I know they're down by six, and they do would they would love him. But if he gets foul, another foul here early, he won't even be like, coming on the first half. And Cam Oliver misses the three there, uh, and that will be it's going to be Melbourne United ball here. Melbourne United ball. So that's going to be yeah. If if I'm honestly if I'm Melbourne United right now, I'm attacking Cam Oliver. I'm making sure that he fouls me. If 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 I'm Melbourne United right now, I make sure that this man is fouling me because honestly. He's in a lot of trouble here early days. A lot of trouble here early days. All right, so Melbourne United here going to inbound this ball. Uh, they're on. Uh, they're definitely on the uh, on the upper right now. They're going to push past the half court. They are up by six points. They get another three. Is Golding even on right now? Golding is not on right now. I don't think. I can't really see him. Oh no, is he on? No, he's not on right now. So that's going to be a missed shot there by Melbourne United. Cam Oliver with the rebound. Gets it off to Noy. Noy's going to drive past the half court. He's going to drive inside, drive inside, drive inside. Push it out for three. No, he's going to put it inside for two. Should have pushed that out for three, to be completely honest with you. 
Uh, Young and Ross says, who's going to win? I th- I still think Cairns. I still think Cairns. I just think that they need to calm down a little bit here and get a bit more composure going. And they're going to get another rebound there. Oh, my God. That's terrible. That is absolutely horrific defense. Is that going to be on Cameron Oliver? If this, if this foul is on Cameron Oliver, that's his third foul, and he has to come out here. If this foul is on Cameron Oliver, he has to come out of this situation because that would be ridiculous. No, it's going to be on Majok Dang. Very, very lucky there. Very, very lucky because Cameron Oliver was in the area and could easily have been given the third foul there in this first seven minutes here of this game. But he will get away with it. And we'll go to Majok Dang. Uh, Young and Ross is okay, going to put 100 bucks on Cairns. Well, it's, that's your choice, man. Obviously, if they don't win, that's not me, on me. But I do believe Cairns will win this game. I do think that even though they're the underdogs in this one, and they are down by six right now, and there's a free throw coming up here as well um, for Luel Achul, who can honestly dominate a game if he really understood his power. He misses both free throws there. Um, I, I still think Cairns, you know, they do come through strong in the end. Uh, especially, I don't think they're getting off to a one and three start. So Cairns here, they're going to drive inside the paint. Up top, no, he pushes it back out here for... Oh my God, that's terrible. Absolutely shocking there. It's going to be still Cairns here with the ball. Uh, only trace has Chris Golding played in the NBA? I don't think so, but the way he's been playing, he's been looking unbelievable so far. Obviously, I'm not, you know, your most aficionado when it comes to, uh, you know, NBL players playing the NBA besides the obvious ones. Uh, but he's been fantastic in this game. He's already hit three threes in this game early days, and wow, where he looks the damn well goods. So Cairns here with the ball, out on the edge. Noi for three. What are you doing taking that shot? Oh, my God, bro. No, 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 no. As if he would take that shot on. That was clearly contested to the max. That was clearly contested, contested to the absolute max. That is an absolutely outrageous shot to take there. It was actually dang, by the way. So, Melbourne United here with the ball. It's a six-point game. Melbourne United looking for the three-point on the edge. And they're going to drive around here from the free-throw line. Gives it off to Luwala Chul. Luwala Chul inside. Oliver trying to fend on him. And because he doesn't want to obviously give away a foul, and he's a lot ca- very cautious about how he's playing right now, uh, that will be an easy two there for Luwala Chul. And if I'm Melbourne United, I utilize him a lot in this game. But that's going to be a miss there from Cairns. It's still an eight-point game here. Melbourne United get the rebound. You know, to be honest with you, with that those two personal fouls, uh, like if Cam Oliver doesn't get, if, if he can get away with it in his first half and not give away another one, um, then I do think Cam's win. But if, if he gives away another foul here early, he'll get taken off. Cam Oliver, he goes inside. Oh, dude, no, that was bad. No, that was bad by Cairns again. Wow, very poor play there. Melbourne are not going to take the ball away. They're going to bring it past the half court. Go for a three, go for a three. Oh, that's a boom. That's a boom. So it is 26 to 15 here. 11 point game, Melbourne United, with a minute 37 to go here of the first quarter. Long way to go in this game, but wow, Cairns are looking a little bit sloppy here early days. It's going to be Cairns here for open three. He should be getting that. Should be getting that. And he will hit that. Boom. That's a beautiful three there by Cairns. It's back to an eight point game. Jared Kenny will hit the three. That is his first three point shot of the game, and he does make it. Boom, boom, boom. Melbourne here, Shea Ely, Shea Ely for three. Oh, he's going to go bang right back and makes it a 29 to 18 game with a minute 10 to go here of the first quarter. Gee, Shea Ely said, you get the three. Well, guess what, son? I'm going back to damn well back. Cairns now with the ball. It's going to be Dang driving around. Oh, he's going to miss that one. Oh, no, he hits a three. They hit it right back as well. They hit it right back as well. Brennan Ferris says, hey, my friend, how are you? Do you think it will be a close game tonight? Yeah, man, I do. I think Cairns win, but in the same sense, they are down by eight points right now in the first quarter. All righty, so Melbourne United here with the ball. They get it out here for three, get it out for three. Terrible shot choice there, and they miss it too. Barlow, what are you doing? That was terrible. Absolutely terrible. So Kuwait Noy here with the ball. He's going to drive past the half court. He's got dang screening him right now, looking for anything. 34.6 seconds left here of the first quarter. Noy gets it back out to the left-hand side to Kenny. Kenny just holding down the time right now with nine seconds left the shot clock. Kenny for three, Kenny for three, Kenny for three. No, he misses that one. It will be a dang... No, sorry. It will be Luala Achul with the rebound. Luala Achul. So 17 seconds left here, first quarter. Melbourne United bring the ball past the half court. Can Shea Ely get something going here? Last seconds. He drives, he drives, he drives himself. That's a foul. It's not going to be a foul, apparently. Are they going to take it off in this last second? And they will miss that shot. So... At the end of the first quarter, you guys, it will be 29-21 to Melbourne United. Uh, you know, 
bit of a sloppy start here with the tie pans, especially with Cam Oliver getting two personal fouls in that first 40 seconds. But in the same sense, they still relatively kept in it here. It is only technically an eight-point game, and considering how poor they were in that first quarter, it's a surprise that Melbourne United are only up by eight and not up by like 20, because they could easily have been up by 20 after what we just seen in that first quarter. I think that Melbourne United played pretty well. I think they did what they did with their, their shots. Chris, um, Chris Golding, obviously, was unbelievable. Hit three from three from the three-point line. Uh, this this Melbourne United team, you know, they have the goods. But as we saw against the 36ers, they can also click off and they can also miss a lot of their shots and, and miss a lot of their opportunities and get dominated by the opposite team. So I don't want to call this game just yet. I don't want to say that this game's anywhere near over because I don't believe it is. It is only an eight-point game and there's still plenty of time to, for it to be a close one here. But let me know what your thoughts are of that first half, first quarter though. Sorry, guys. Um, smack that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new around here. I think our next NBL game is actually on Wednesday night when I'm back in Australia. Uh, only trade says exchanging threes right now. Yeah, it's, it should, look, look, it's looking like a high-scoring game. 29 points is a lot of points to be scoring in 10 minutes, though, in the NBL. Obviously, the NBL usually averages around 22, 23-ish points, maybe. Uh, for Well, between, tw between 18 and 22 points is what I normally see teams uh, banking in on the regular in regards to quarters. It's like in the NBA, you average out at 25 to 32, really. In the NBL, you're looking at about 18 to 23, I would guess. Um, so... Uh, obviously, in today's game, they, they got 29, and that's in the first uh, quarter here with minus the two minutes from the NBA, you know what I mean? So that's the that's, that's why it's quite interesting, and, and if Melbourne United can keep this, this scoring route on, they will win by a significant amount, but do they keep this scoring route on? I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure they will be able to just keep it going, especially considering that most of that time that they did have that scoring route, Cameron Oliver was off because of the personal fouls. He just needs to keep out of foul trouble in the second quarter, and he'll be fine for the, the rest of the game. Um, as long as he doesn't give a foul away early days. If he gives another foul away, you know, with what? <coughs> Sorry. If he gives another foul away with like three, four minutes to go that, that, that second quarter, then fair enough. Um, I think that's okay. Three personal fouls first half. It's obviously not great, but it's doable. It's, it's, it's tolerable. It's manageable. Uh, but if he gives away a foul in the first minute or two, uh, I don't really believe you can bring him back on for the second half. So they really need to make sure that he doesn't get um, fa like uh, an early foul here in the second quarter, and if I'm the Melbourne, if I'm Melbourne United, I get a, a Luella Trull uh, to just absolutely back him up right now and drive at him. Get everyone to drive at him. Doesn't matter if it's Landau, doesn't matter if it's Luella Trull, doesn't matter if, even if it's Shane uh, Shay Illy, sorry, um, even if you want to get Golding, just anyone drive at Cam Oliver and foul, get him to foul right now. Make sure he fouls because then you will win this game easy. Melbourne United for three, Golding again. Oh my God, Golding's hit a three. This guy is out of control. He's just his fourth three of the game. He's four threes in a row, and he's only taken four shots from the three-point line. Oh, my goodness me. It's going to be, oh, Cameron Oliver, you bloody crazy man. He slam dunks at home. It's a nine-point game. Nine and a half minutes to go your first half. Uh, Anderson Lowe says, are you planning to go to a game in real life when you go back to Australia? Um, have you not seen my vlogs before? That's usually my main content besides the last year. Usually my main content the last year. Oh, Cameron Oliver, you risky, risky man. He jumps up there. Luckily, he didn't give away the foul. And Lando will put the two there. But that was a very risky play there by um, Cameron Oliver. So Oliver here with the ball. He gives it off. And uh, moves it back around here to Machado. Machado looking for some movement. Um, and now Twitch has decided to mess up here. Uh, but uh, you've got Cairns trying to... Oh, jeez. Why is this going off here? Um, it's been happening a lot in this stream for some reason. Uh, one second here, guys. Uh, I'm just going to refresh this one. Well, I'm going to have to hide you from the channel, man. You're giving up a little bit too much hate lately, so I'm going to have to hide you. See you later, buddy. Um, you're going to miss out too because we're doing Premier League very soon, to be honest with you. But unfortunately, because you're a bit of a hater, you're gone. Um, all right, so uh, we get back on here. And there is a 11-point difference. Okay, for some reason, the Twitch is just messing up right now. Uh, Brandon Fraser says, hey, just wondering, mate, did you end up checking out? Uh, no, I didn't actually. I forgot all about it, but I should check it out. Um, I should actually check that out. I'm um, sorry, guys. For some, it's back on now. I don't know what's going on here with Twitch. Twitch is where you, where you can watch it, by the way, if you are uh, anyway, actually. Even in Australia, you can watch it. Anderson Lowe says, I mean, it's kind of hard to travel on stadium restrictions. That's exactly, you know, that's exactly why I haven't been doing it for the last year, even though I've been here in Fiji anyway, regardless. But, um, you know, I'm back on Wednesday, so I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, I've got two weeks quarantine, but uh, you can't, I'm not going to show you exactly what's on here, but, um, you know, that's my schedule for the upcoming very soon. Uh, I'll come very soon, but that's across BKR Sport, BKR Clips, and BKR Travel. Hopefully, I can look at that and see that there's not actually anything given away there. Okay, perfect. 
Alrighty, so uh, Cairns here with the ball. It is a 11-point game, 34-23 in favour of Melbourne United. And Cairns here, back him up, back him up, back him up, puts it up. And wow, how does he miss that two-shot? How does he miss that two-pointer? That's embarrassing you missed that two-pointer. Melbourne United here, McCarran gets the ball out. No, it's going to be a turnover and it will be Cairns' ball. Um, Brent Fraser, man, I already said, I'm in Fiji. There's no SBS on demand over you. You can't get SBS on demand outside of Australia. Um, you're not allowed to watch it outside of Australia. Maybe New Zealand, but like you're not allowed to watch it outside of Australia. It's geo-locked. So 34-23 here, 8 minutes 15 to go here of the second quarter. And Cairns go drive inside here, drive inside. Can put it up, put it up. No, wow. What are they doing here? This is terrible attack. Gets it outside here for the three. No, he's going to drive inside. Great little play there, but he's going to miss that shot badly. Wow, Cairns haven't been great in this game. Wow, we. And that's going to be Luala Tool. He's going to get fouled. So two free throws, I believe, are coming up here for Luala Tool. Luala Tool. Darcy John Campbell Bell says hi. Hello, Darcy John Campbell Bell. Who are you going for in this game? AJ Ellis says, I'm so excited to see Game Day Vlogs again. Man, I'm so excited to get to an atmosphere again, man. Like, I love you guys. I love talking to you guys, having fun here and talking on stream. And we will keep streams, uh, obviously, very regularly, like, as much as I possibly can without, you know, um, going crazy, crazy, considering I will be vlogging too. Um, but I just can't wait to get to an atmosphere again, man, and go wild again. But time out here, guys, with eight minutes to go here the first half. It is an 11-point game. And it's the says you early Brisbane Raw Vlogs were legendary. Looking forward to more game day vlogs. Yeah, man, I'll be based in Sydney, though. So, um, obviously, I'll be trying to get up to every single Titans home game as per usual. And when I'm up for a Titans game, I can try and get to a Brisbane Raw game, depending on when it is. Um, but, yeah, I'll be going to a lot of Brisbane Raw games in Sydney anyway, regardless, Mariners, Jets area. Uh, Darcy John says, Melbourne. Oh, they're looking the goods right now, but it's a long way to go in this game, and they still can look a bit shaky from time to time. Uh, but Cairns, they still haven't found their rhythm yet. They're still not clicking this season, and it is actually starting to get a bit worrying in regards to their season um, if they lose this game and lose this game well. Because if they lose this game the way it's going right now still, that's, I would consider this well. I would consider this losing this well. Um, they are down by 11 points, and in reality, they just don't look like they are up to the standards right now of the NBL in comparison to some of these other teams, like the Hawks, like Melbourne United. Um, I think they beat the Brisbane Bullets, maybe. I can't remember. No, no, sorry. Bullets played Hawks twice. Um, I can't remember who they played for that third game, but... Uh, sorry, yeah, for that third game. But yeah, I, I think that Kansas haven't found their rhythm yet. They haven't been on a click yet. Uh, Anderson Lowe says, it's perfectly fine, to be honest. Might be better since I support more Sydney teams. Well, the thing is, man, is that I, I do everything anyway, you know. I do anything, rega I do everywhere regardless. I don't usually do away games um, for my teams because I like to get the atmosphere of the home team. But, you know, I've come to the conclusion that I don't really give a shit, you know. It's my channel, I'll do what I want. <laughs> so I will be doing Brisbane Rule games in Sydney uh, rather than supporting, you know, the home teams and stuff like that. Chase says, blue and white. Yeah, we'll be getting to a few doggies games this year. Obviously, not as many as some of the better teams in the competition. Uh, you know, more of those top eight kind of teams. Um, but in the same sense, uh, we'll get into a few doggies games this year. So, um, <coughs> Luella Chul here, taking his first free throw. And he will hit the first free throw. There you go. So, it's now 35-23 here, 12-point game. Uh, Anderson Lowe says, you've got to appreciate the NBL for the free streams. Yeah, 100%, man, you do. The NBL does a good job with, with putting them on. It's actually three free throws here, is it? Is this three free throws for Luella Chula? Why is this three, three free throws? No, so two free throws and... What is this? What's, so he got two free throws and possession for what? Are they saying that was a... Are they saying that's a hard foul? Is that, what are they saying? That's a fla what are they saying flagrant or... What, are they, what the hell? That's an outrageous. Like, how do you get two free throws and also possession? He missed one of them. He got two. Hold on one second. He will end. Oh, we'll miss that three. And we'll come back here for... Oh, well, well, it's underneath there for an offensive rebound. He puts it home. Uh, Madam Mafia, some new. What's going on here? Well, we stream all games and react to them live. So that's what's going on here. But can see with the ball. And it is a 14-point game right now. 37-23 to Melbourne United. Can't see for three. Can't see for three. Ah, oh, Manny Machado. Not Manny Machado. Machado here with the three. Manny Machado, baseball player. Scott Machado, I mean. Uh, hits the three there. Makes it an 11-point game again. Melbourne United here with the ball. They drive inside the paint. Put it up. No, good defense, actually. Still going to be Melbourne United with the ball here. But, um, you know, great, uh, great defense there to block that one away. So seven minutes to go here of the first half. Melbourne United up by 11. 
And they've got the ball here, but Cairns, if they get some stops here, they can definitely... Oh, Golding here. Easy three, easy three. Oh, he misses that one. Out of all the ones that he's gotten today, he's got four from four. He takes the open of... The biggest open three I've ever seen in my life um, and misses that one for his five from five. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Anderson Lois Scott does really confuse me with Manny. Yeah, exactly right. Ignatius says hello there. Hello, mate. But uh, yeah, every time I think of Machado, I think of uh, I think of Manny. So it's it's confusing me here, obviously with Scotty. But uh, I guess I'm just excited about the baseball season. Ooh, even though the Cubbies are looking like they are blowing that team up, if Ricketts isn't taken away from this club very soon, I'm gonna freak out. The Ricketts family, I tell you what, they're driving our team into the absolute ground because they don't want to spend the money. Um, but then again, it was somewhat needed in the same sense. So, 7 minutes, 8 here to go, first half, 11-point game. Melbourne United will still have the ball here on the attack. A decision pending for an official review right now. And it will still be cancelled here. No idea what we were checking, to be honest with you. Melbourne United here underneath, gets it outside here. Underneath for in the paint. Good defense, but it will still come back here. Melbourne United was slapped away, but it will come off the um, off the tie pans. Jerick, Dimmy, Dimmy, Jerick. Dimmy, 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 Dimmy. Only one foul given up here in this second quarter, and it was from Cairns. They've given up a few fouls in this game. Um, the first quarter, obviously, they were a bit, uh, bit willy-nilly with them, and, and in this quarter right now, they've already given up one, but it's, it's been for the first three minutes. Oh, a chance here, Melbourne United for three. Oh, he'll miss that one badly. Really easy rebound there from Luella Chul, but he'll miss the putback. Jawai should be doing much better there with his strength and with his body size to block out Luella Chul, uh, but he doesn't do it there. Oh, what are you doing? Machado for three. That was ridiculous. Logo Machado, what are you doing, bro? That was the stupidest three-point shot I've ever seen. That was ridiculous. Oh, here we go. Luella Chula for two. We'll miss that one. And it'll be a Cameron Oliver rebound. But I'm sorry, but Machado, what the shit are you doing, bros? What the shit are you doing? Oh, chance here for three. That's a deep three as well, but that's going to go down. So there's now an eight-point game here, 37-29. Dimmy, Dimmy, Jerry hits his second uh, three-pointer of the day. Uh, so he's two from three right now. Uh, Cameron Oliver gets the assist there, and it's back to an eight-point game here with six and a half minutes to go. It is not over yet, lads. It is not over yet. Don't you bloody start getting too excited over there, Mr. Melbourne United fans. Uh, Josh Sanders, are you coming home this week, Blaze? Yes, on Wednesday. Uh, we'll be coming home on Wednesday. Uh, Ignatius says, I don't watch the A-League. Is it any good? Well, this isn't an A-League stream. If this was an A-League stream, 37-29 is the most ridiculous A-League football soccer score I've ever seen in my life, uh, except for maybe the one where Australia beat American Samoa by like 400 goals. Um, but yeah, this is the NBL, man. This is the Australian Basketball League. Um, AJ Ellis says Melbourne want to try and run away with this early. They do, but Cairns are still slightly sticking in there. They're like, you know, they're like a, a coo what is it? Not a cougar. Like a, you know, like a panther. You know, they're, 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 they're hiding in the edges right now. They're waiting for Melbourne United to make a couple of mistakes and get and Cairns to get a few blocks or get, get a few stops. And then Cairns can pounce, you know. They're, they're just waiting for their moment right now. It's only an eight-point game. It doesn't feel like an eight-point game. It honestly feels like Melbourne United are up by 20, 20 points right now. But they're not. They're only up by eight. And I'm telling you right now, Cairns are ready to pounce at any moment right now. Uh, Anderson Lowe says, I have a habit to memorize every player from the sporting leagues I watch. Guess I've got to start memorizing all the NBL players now. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty quick here with the NBL because obviously, although they're... Although there's not necessarily many of them compared to, say, your NBA and compared to your other sports, uh, they do change every year. They're very different teams each year. Uh, so this is kind of basically my second year really getting into this league. Uh, but it's very quick for me because obviously I commentate, so I kind of force myself to know exactly who I'm talking about. But then I, ha I have been um, confused with Quatnoy and, uh, and uh, Deng in this game, Majok Deng. Uh, Josh Sims, will you miss Fiji and have you noticed my profile picture change? Good on you, champion. Um, and uh, of course I'll miss Fiji, but let's not talk about that on stream. Uh, Josh Cook says, hey, Blaze. Hello, mate. How you doing? Long time no see, buddy. What's you been up to? All righty. So eight-point game here. Melbourne United here with the ball. They're going to drive past the half court. 37-29 uh, is the score. Six minutes, 20 to go here of the first half. Three-pointer coming up for... No. Oh, wow. That's a foul. That's definitely a foul. He got absolutely hammered there. Absolutely hammered there by Machado. Machado's not been great in this game. He's taken a few um, poor shots, and he's also made a few bad reads in defense, and that's another bad read in defense right there. Anderson Lowe says NBL is pretty good in terms of quality. Uh, worse than the NBA and European leagues, but better than any other leagues and probably be a bit be on par or a little worse than CBA. CBA? What's CBA? Is that Canadian? I'm not sure. Is that Canadian basketball? 
Like, as in, obviously, outside of the Toronto Raptors. But, look, the, the NBL quality isn't horrific, but you definitely do notice the difference. But you just have to respect it for what it is. Oh, why is he going for a three there, you goose? Like, taking shots like that is what gets me. Like, taking shots like that just then is what gets me and grinds my gears about this league. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, what are you doing? Oh, China. Oh. Yeah, I don't really watch too much China, my friend. So, six minutes to go here of the first half. And it is an eight-point game. Um... But that's another miss there. That's another uh, stoppage. So if Cairns can get a two or a three here, they get back within, you know, six, five, six points. So a chance here for Machado to get that off to Cameron Oliver. Cameron Oliver gets it back to Machado. Machado around the screen from Jawai. Machado, if you take his bad shot there, it's going to be a turnover. Machado's been so bad in this game. Gee whiz. Ivan Stragan says, used to watch the NBL when it was the Melbourne Tigers before it started dying off. Only way I'll start watching it is, again is if Melbourne Victory had a team in the league. Melbourne victory? Huh? <laughs> what? What's the going on there? What you mean the Melbourne victory, mate? Melbourne victory, the A-League. What's the going on there? Uh, you know, here we go. Cairns here with the ball. They're going to bounce back inside. Cairns. Oh, should have been an N1, but unfortunately Oliver will miss it. So he will take two free throws here, and he has a chance to bring it back to a six-point game. Um... Ignatius says, A-League, I was saying this Aussie Basketball League. I was asking if it's any good. You said A-League, I'm pretty sure, mate. I'll go have a look. Um, and Ignatius says, I don't watch this. Oh, you said I don't watch this league. I thought you said I don't watch the A-League. <laughs> That's my bad, man. Sorry. Uh, but no, look, it's, it's, you have to respect it like the A-League, I guess. Um, you have to respect it as it's not the same quality as the NBA. Like the A-League's not the same quality as the Premier League. But it can be quality if you enjoy it for what it is. You have to enjoy this as a local league where, you know, it actually is improving, though, to be completely honest with you. You know, the NBL is starting to really pick up some fandom. Uh, Tasmania has a team coming in next year called, called the Tasmanian Jack Jumpers. Um, it'd be very interesting to see how they go. They'll make it a 10 team league. And I'm telling you, NBL is starting to get bigger in Australia. It is it's definitely a growing sport in this country. Um, Anderson Lowe says CBA is met, but they are quite rich and sign a lot of former NBA stars. Yeah, but that's China, man. That's China. You know, they um, they love they they have a lot of money, man. They're able to throw any kind of money at football players and and NBA players, whatnot. Um, a lot. Of, there is actually a couple of guys that come over from there too, though. But that's gonna be a seven point game here, thirty seven to thirty here, Melbourne United. That's gonna be an offensive foul. Here we go. Come on, Cairns, whip him home, baby, whip him home. Here we go, whipping them home. Ignatius says, nice, thanks for the feedback. I'll try to start watching. Yeah, man, well, like I said, this is my second year really getting into it, and I'm telling you, I actually enjoy it. Even though the quality isn't exactly, you know, A grade, it's still enjoyable to watch. So, I think, oh, they're going to say this is not an offensive foul. Oh, I oh, know, they're going to get angry here. Sorry, they're going to get angry. Um, they were giving a warning here to Melbourne United. They were going to get close to giving a technical there. Um, against um, Melbourne United because they didn't believe it was an offensive foul, but they will just give him a warning. So Machado here with the ball. They can bring it back within a five-point game. Even within a four-point game, if they get a three, haven't been too good from three so far, though. They go for a three here, though. Cameron Oliver! Boom! That's a boom, son. And it's back to a four-point game here. 37-33. That's his first three-point of the day, and he has six points so far. Gee whiz, that's a great shot there. Cameron Oliver smacks it down. Melbourne United here with the ball at the three-point line. Good defense here from Cairns. They've stopped him in a, the last couple. They haven't scored a point in a long time. And then he misses that three. Cairns here have a chance to bring it back within a one-possession game. They have a chance with a two to bring it back to a two-point game with a three to make it a one-point game. Cairns here with the ball on the outside. They're going to give it off to Oliver. Oliver gets it back here to... Um, is it Kenny? No, he gets it back. Oh, here we go. Two-point game. Boom. Cairns. Back to a 37-35 game. Four minutes, 33 to go here of the first half. And Cairns have started flying. They're six, they've won their second quarter by six points so far. It's only a two-point game. Who would have believed it just a few moments ago? And now it's going to be... Uh, is that going to be a... What was that? Is there a little bit of a push and shove there? It's going to be a foul here between, from, from Cairns. And Golding's been smacked over here. Um, there's a little bit of a how you going here in this game. It's a little bit of, a little bit of aggression here, a little bit of animosity between these two teams right now. You can feel it's tense. You can feel like there's something waiting to blow up at this point. Meow Meow says, hi, hello, Meow Meow. Um, Anderson Lowe says, Lamello and RJ really helping with the US audience. There's Jessup from the Hawks this year, but he doesn't get the hype in the US. That's because he's obviously a second round pick for, he's a second round pick for the um, uh, Golden State Warriors. 
Uh, so obviously, second round picks don't usually garner too much hype. But in the same sense, he's he's a decent little player over here. Decent little player. But here we go, chance here. Oh, it's a brilliant three. That's a booming three. That's an absolutely booming three there by Melbourne United, and then make it a five point game here. Their first points in quite a while, to be honest with you. And Jock Landau is the guy to snap it in. So four minutes to go here of the second quarter, and it's Machado who gets it off to Kuat Noi. Oh, Cameron Oliver's going to lose his handles there, and it will come back here for Melbourne United. They will get the. Uh, the takeaway. And it's going to come way here for Melbourne United again. They're going to push it back for Landau. Landau for three. Landau for three. And he's going to get that one too. Ouch, man. Landau goes bang, bang, bang. That is a wild little sequence there. And Melbourne United go and just rip in, son. Oh, wow. Now, don't forget, guys, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here. But Landau goes and hits two threes in the space of 20 seconds uh, to bring this back out to an eight-point game. Ouch. Uh, Brandon Freya says, how important do you think having the best coach out there is? I've heard that the Hawks have the best coach in the NBL. Um, do you agree? I want a super coach so we can win a lot of games. Um, coaches definitely are a big factor, yes. You know, coaches are definitely a big factor. Look at the NBA um, in the 1990s with the Chicago Bulls. I can't think of his name right now. I can't think of his name. He was the coach of the Chicago Bulls, and then he went to the Lakers, and they won and won and won. You know, he was a huge example of that, and the point of the matter is, is that you need a good coach to win. You know, you need a good coach to damn well win. Um, it's, it's, it's all well and good saying the players need to do their job, but the players can do their job. But if they don't have the right tactics, they don't know what they're doing, they don't have the right system set up, then they're not going to get shit. They're not going to win shit. So yes, a coach is definitely a massive impact on the game. Uh, Young and Ross says, Lamelo was playing for which team? He was on the Illawarra Hawks, mate. Well, they call the Hawks now. Uh, Phil Jackson, that's the one. Thank you, Josh Sam. Phil Jackson, yeah, bingo. Uh, Phil Jackson was with the Bulls and then with the Lakers, and he was just unbelievable. Coach, the best coach ever. So, yes, you can make the argument that the players, even without him, probably get it done with a lesser, like a Michael Jordan. But then again, you know, Michael Jordan doesn't become the player that he became without my, uh, without uh, Phil Jackson. You know, uh, Dennis Rodman doesn't become the player that he became without Phil Jackson. Um, you could argue the same relatively about Scottie Pippen. These players don't become the guys they are. Steve Kerr, definitely, you know, he has a lot to attribute to Phil Jackson. So, um, yeah, it does definitely come down to a massive impact in regards to what coach you do have. Uh, and it's almost the first time realizing this, but how the timeout's sponsored by TikTok. It's just another sponsor, man. You know, they're just, uh, you know, the NBL is such a lesser known league that they need the financial revenue from these, um, you know, extra companies. That's going to be an offensive foul here, I think. No, it's a foul here against the Melbourne United. So that's three fouls going up here in the second quarter. Very close to being in foul trouble here. Um, but... Uh, yeah, when you're a lesser-known league in sport and you need to, obviously, pay the bills, uh, you take any kind of financial revenue that you possibly can. And also, TikTok is a large audience with the younger children, so they have the support. They also can potentially get support from the younger kids. Oh, three here for careful. Oh, he missed that one. Can Saipans miss that one? But it will be coming over here with the offensive rebound. He's going to bring it around, bring it back to Machado. Machado, he's got Oliver in front of him. Is he going to go out to the left or right? No, he goes around. He goes for a three, maybe. Open three, open three. Should be hitting this one. And he will hit it too. Bang, bang, bang. Makes it a five-point game, 43 to 38. Um, but yeah, I think that... Look, it's, it's, a, it's a good business decision. I think it's ridiculous because obviously it's not catered to my... I'm not in their target audience. Uh, but in the same sense, I get the business decision. Landau here puts it up, and that's going to be two points there for Melbourne United. Makes it a seven-point game again, and Landau's on 14 points so far. Uh, Demand Royale says, who do you reckon is going to win in Melbourne victory versus Perth, Perth Glory? Talk about that one tomorrow night, my man, but I will be going Perth Glory by a long way. Oh, Oliver goes boom. Oliver has been outrageous to start this season with some slam dunks. He's only got eight points in today's game, but wow, that was a slam dunk of Runo. Ouchie, mama. All right, so Victor, uh, sorry, not Victor here. Oh, it goes up for, oh, how do you miss that? That was an open layup. That's going to be a missed shot there by Melbourne United. And Cairns are going to have the ball here, and they're going to try and bring this back within a two or three-point game. But nice alley-oop there from uh, Scotty Machado straight to uh, Cam Oliver. And Oliver with the one-handed put down. Boom, one-handed put down. Um, Anderson Lowe says, I mean, how is TikTok sponsoring the NBL? Most people that watch the NBL probably doesn't use the app. Not the point. Firstly, it advertises the app so that people can use the app. Obviously, they are targeting um, an audience in the NBL to utilize their app and say, what's TikTok? You know, I've heard all about this, but maybe I should give it a crack. And then they look at it and they're like, oh, that's kind of funny. Or, you know, some people find it funny. Um, no, it's a great business decision. You know, it's a, it's a fantastic business, business decision on their end. 
um, and also in regards to uh, the NBL because they also get those younger kid audience that they would love to get to build through uh, for the future. But that's going to be a putback there, easy there after the turnover from Cairns. It'll be a 47-40 game, seven-point game. Just Kaberta says, who will win the NBL this year? Uh, I think it's between the Hawks. Uh, but the Kings are doing looking pretty decent too. Cairns here for three. Oh, he misses that one, unfortunately. And it will be a defensive rebound by Landau. I think the Kings are up there. Melbourne United definitely up there. Uh, Perth Wildcats are looking the goods too. Um, you know, you can't ever wipe out Perth Wildcats. Oh, chance here. Inside, turnover from United. No. You know, I get the ball back here after the little mistake. And goes for a deep three. Oh, he nearly got that. It was nearly a great shot, but Cam Oliver will get the defensive rebound. And now they're going to bring it past the half court here for Cairns. He brings it back. He could have gone for a three there. Didn't do it, though. Cam Oliver could have gone for three as well. Quite Noy here with the ball. He's going to drive inside. No fakes it and gets it back to Machado. A minute 22 to go here of the first half. Machado's going to go out to the right-hand side. He's going to drive inside, drive inside, drive inside. Offensive foul. No offensive foul. Um, I thought that was going to be offensive foul for uh, using the elbow there, but unfortunately, it did not happen. Um, and wow, good uh, good pass there. It's back to a nine-point game here, and uh, Melbourne United bring that one and bring the heat. They slam that one down to his 49-40 to 40 here. And they've really, uh, they've really prevented this Cairns run that was on before where they got back to a two-point game. Chance here for Oliver. Cameron Oliver for three. And he's going to go and bang that three in from deep as well. And that brings it back to a six-point game here. Jeez, Cameron Oliver is on fire in this season. They bring it up here for N1. And he will miss that shot. So it will be two free throws coming up here for Melbourne United. Uh, Anderson Lowe says, uh, Hawks really improved this year. Uh, they have, um, but that's what happens in the NBL, man. Teams change a lot. They're frequently, you know, going to the NBA or going to the CBA or going to, you know, European competition. There's always, you know, the teams are being mixed up. Look at the Kings, for example. They got slaughtered. Jay Sean Tate went, you know, Bogut's gone because he retired. Um, you know, players from all over the place. Jay Sean Tate's looking really good in Rockets right now in Houston. Um, but yeah, you know, the Kings got slaughtered because they got players taken away from them. And, and that's what happens with most teams because it's basically a transitional league, the NBL. It's not a destination league. It's not a older players league. It's a, uh, I'm going to use this league to build up my profile, my social profile, and also my uh, basketball profile, and then utilize it to get into a better league like the NBA is what Jay Sean Tate did. Is exactly what LaMelo Ball did. Exactly what a lot of players should be doing. Um, and it works well. Um, one second, guys. For some reason, your browser encountered an error while decoding the video. So I'm going to have to refresh this uh, screen right now. Uh, it's like it's not with my stream. For some reason, it's just Twitch today. Twitch doesn't seem to want to let me just watch a clean uh, clean playthrough. But here we go. We're back on. So 51-43. I think he got both those free throws there. Don't forget, guys. Smack the thumbs up button. 42 seconds to go of the first half. It's going to be uh, Cancy with the ball. It is an eight-point game here. Gets it off to um, Noy. Noy goes inside. That's an end one. No, it will be a foul. But no two. it will be two free throws. Uh, but it will not be uh, N1 because the, the shot did not go down. It will not go down. So Noy here will go to the line for two free throws. And that was a pretty poor foul there. Uh, it was pretty obvious too. I don't know why he complained about that one. It's pretty clear. Alrighty, so Kawat Noy here coming up. Uh, Josh Sam says, Blaze, will NBA have English players in the future? Well, yeah, of course. If they're good enough, you know, it depends. You, you could see a player that plays from, you know... Um, Honduras, so you could see a player that comes from Fiji. It just has to be if they're good enough. Obviously, you're not ideally um, more than likely going to see a player from Fiji playing in the NBA, but it's possible. If there's a player who's good enough, there's no you know, a racial bias. It's just if a player um, finds the ability to be able to be good enough. So seven points of difference here. Can't see with one more free throw. He hits the first one there, Kowat Noi. 34 seconds left the first half. Noi puts it up, and he'll hit the second free throw too. So it is back to a six-point game here. 24 seconds, obviously, on the shot clock. So there's um, not going to be able to... Oh, they're going to try the two-for-one here, are they? Wow, what are they doing? Oh, what are they doing? Oh, they're pushing it for a three. Misses that one. And it will be an offensive rebound, though. And they can waste 10 seconds left here. 10 seconds of the shot clock. 20 seconds left the first half. Oh, wow, that's going to be a turnover. And now it's going to be Cairns' possession here. Hold it down. Hold it. Wait, wait, wait. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, son. 11 seconds. Shot clock is off. 11 seconds here of the first half. And Cairns here for three. No, he gets it outside to Noy. Noy for three. Noy for three. Misses that one. Offensive rebound. No, that will be uh, United with the rebound. And that will be it for the first half. But wow, wait, the second quarter definitely was Cairns' quarter, in my personal opinion. 
Uh, the first quarter was all Melbourne United. Second quarter was all Cairns. And this game is well and truly on right now. Wow, we uh, six point game. It was a, a nine point game at the end of the first quarter, I think, or eight point game. Uh, so Cairns are eating into it. They were at two points difference at one stage. Actually, no, they were no, they were two points. Yeah, they came back from that thirteen point deficit to a two point deficit. Um, and obviously they did let it blow out again to nine and then brought it back into six. Uh, I genuinely believe Cairns are still well and truly in this game and they just need to tighten up on their D and I think they were doing that in that second quarter. So uh, I think that this third quarter will probably go towards uh, Cairns kind of eating into that again. It'll probably be a three... Uh, point difference here going into uh, the third quarter time. And then I don't know who will win from there on out. But I still am backing in cans at this point, to be honest with you. Uh, Asamina says, Melbourne United are so overpowered. I disagree. I think that they've looked okay in this game. They've looked decent enough to be up by six points. Uh, but they really slowed down in that second quarter. Obviously, Chris Goulding was one of them. He's hit four threes in this game. Um, but he, but he's, he's taken seven shots now. He obviously was very hot in that first quarter. Took three from three. Um, looked absolutely fantastic, had 100% from the uh, three-point line, and then just forced up too many in that second quarter, thinking that he was going to get every single one of them like he did in the first. Um, he got one of them, but he also missed another, what, three? Um, so, yeah, he got one from four in that second quarter. So I think Golding just needs to know that, yes, you had a fantastic quarter, and yes, you, you play your hand, but once you miss two probably shots, you probably slack it off for a little bit and wait until you can start getting some extra points or better looks uh, before you just take a random shot. Uh, Josh says, what time are you playing on Wednesday? Um, why? No, not talking about that. We're talking about sport, mate. Anderson Lowe says, NBL stadiums does, that, does take time to get used to. Uh, besides a few stadiums like the Kings and Melbourne United one, they look so different from the NBA ones. Well, this one with Cairns is a pop-up stadium. It's actually played in, in old Bunnings, I believe. What were you saying, AJ? I don't know if AJ's still watching this right now. But AJ, didn't you say this is an old Bunnings warehouse? This has been a pop-up stadium in? I'm not too sure. I could be wrong. Uh, but this isn't their normal stadium here for Cairns Taipans, I don't believe. I don't believe it is anyway. Uh, next level play says, go, 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 Melbourne. Yeah, well, they're looking uh, they're looking the goods right now. They are up by six points, but there is a very, very, very long way to go on this one. It is very much nowhere near over. Um, so I, and I would be nervous. I would definitely be nervous if I was a Melbourne United fan um, because this game is, is, is going to be close regardless. I think it's definitely going to be close here. Uh, Brandon Frey says, yes, that's true. It's an old Bunnings. Yeah, that's that's... That's the peak of Australian sport right there, you know what I mean? Like that's uh, <laughs> that's that's the peak of Australian sport. You gotta love that. You really you gotta love that. And the the pl the stadium that we're playing in right now is an ex Danwell Bunnings. Um, Anderson Lewis says, I actually just said that they looked like a warehouse a few comments before. Well, yeah, exactly right. Well, it is. It is a, it is de dead set and X Bunnings warehouse, <laughs> which is just absolutely crack up. You know, you look at Chicago and you've got the United Center. You know, you, you look at, um, you know, you got the Spectrum Center in, in, in Charlotte and you've got the, uh, you know, Madison Square Garden in New York. And then in Cairns, you've got the uh, Bunnings Warehouse pop-up center. You know? <laughs> it's just crack up. I love it though. I love it. It's, it's such an Australian thing, but I don't know. If it, it must be temporary, right? I don't really know too much about the situation necessarily and necessarily why um, they are using a, um, a pop-up center here, but in the same sense, I understand that it's probably for a good reason. Uh, Declan Swiss says, that's cans for you. Uh, well, I guess it is. It's a bit of an indie place. It's a little bit off the track. Um, it's not exactly like a Brisbane or a Sydney or a Melbourne or I guess a Perth, but Perth is still a bit indie as well. Um, but yeah, look, I, I think Cairns, they would have it like an entertainment centre, wouldn't they? I don't know. I haven't never been to Cairns before. Do Cairns have an entertainment centre? Do, do Cairns have a, um, you know, like a, you know, like a Brisbane has the entertainment centre or Brisbane has the, um, the Bullet Stadium? I think they use it at the conventional centre near the museum there in Brisbane. I'm not too sure. I think I've been there before. I might have. I think they're at the... I think it's the convention exhibition center in the middle... Basically, not in the middle of the city. It's South Bank. I could be wrong. Is that where Brisbane have their stadium? I know Gold Coast used to have theirs at the convention center at Broad Beach. Um, Sydney Kings have it at ANZ Stadium there at Kudos Bank Arena right next to it. Um, I'm not sure where Melbourne United are. I'm trying to say, I, think, I think they do. Yeah, fair enough. Um, yeah, obviously, most places have their big stadiums, but in the same sense, this year, there must be a reason why they're using a pop-up I think it's because of the pandemic. I don't know. I don't know. Anderson Lowe says, if you got the chance to do so, you've got to watch a, um, a few NCAA D1 games, both basketball and football. It's a different atmosphere. Man, I love the NCAA. I watch NCAA all the damn old time. I'm thinking about doing March Madness. I'm considering doing March Madness. My first ever live streams on this channel was March Madness. I <clears throat> I did the 2019 one. 
Uh, I was in Chicago at the time, actually, uh, when uh, Zion Williamson was playing, you know, Taco Fall, uh, you had, he was playing for U- UCF, you had uh, Carson Edwards having a fantastic tournament there for Purdue. Um, I actually predicted for Virginia to come back and win that one with my guy, Kyle Guy. You know, that was my first ever live stream from this channel, actually, um, the NCAA, um, which is just, um, you know, it's fantastic. It's, I-, I love that tournament. Um, Cameron Oliver in this game, 11 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist. Um, Kuat Noy with 9 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist there for Cairns. Landau, 14.6 rebounds and 0 assists. And Golding with 12 points, 2 re- rebounds and 0 assists. Uh, but in saying all that, um, Golding also only got the uh, one shot there in that second quarter. Uh, Brandon Freyer says, I love Cairns. Some great memories up there. You should check out the Great Power Reef. I oh, definitely will, man. Definitely down, down my wall. Uh, Anderson Lowe says, Duke's home games look so crazy from TV. Imagine seeing it live. Uh, what well, I've got on my Big House Sport bucket list, if you guys don't know this, obviously, you know, this channel isn't brand new. I've been doing this for a while now. Um, I've been doing it for a couple of years now, and I created a Big House Sport bucket list of 101 sporting events to complete. Before we die on Big House Sport, it's a list of 10, it's a 10 videos, and we do 10 items per video, and I want to complete everything on that list. Obviously, the pandemic is probably going to prevent that, but in the same sense, like, you know, life is long. You know, we'll get plenty of time to be able to do it, so... Uh, yeah, and going to a Duke versus North Carolina game is on there. Uh, I think it's I think it's from UNC's perspective though. I think UNC's perspective is the one that I want. I like UNC. That's not my team. My team, I guess, would probably be Illinois because they they're Chicago. Um, or I, I got around Michigan Michigan State because I used to get around the Spart. I do get around the Spartans in the college football. Um, because they are uh, you know they're affiliated with the Detroit Lions, who is my NFL team. Um, but yeah, obviously, I, uh, I I still I'm more sort of a Chicago fan nowadays than I uh, ever was, obviously, with Detroit in regards to the Lions because I've actually been to Chicago. Uh, so I'd probably get around Illinois, and they're doing pretty well this year, actually, in the NCAA. I've been watching a couple of their games. Josh says, "Place, you think the match will be fun in the second half? Yeah, it'll be a good second half, mate. It'll be a good second half. Uh, both these teams are, are giving it a crack right now, and and although it's a six point game, I'm telling you right now, Cairns aren't out of this game right now. Cairns are not out of it just yet. There's plenty of time for them to come back in this." And um, I wouldn't be counting my chickens too early here. Cosmos says Melbourne over 95.5. What are they on right now? Um, they are on 51. Ooh, I don't think so, no. I think that'll be under. I, I'm, obviously, I'm not going to tell you to do anything, but for me, I think they'll be under 95.5. I don't think they'll be hitting 100 here. They definitely slowed down in that second quarter. They hit 29 points in the first quarter, um, and then obviously only hit 24 points in that um 20, no, sorry, 22 points in that second quarter there. So uh, they have obviously been relatively slowing down in that second quarter compared to the first quarter. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily be banking on them to redo this scoreline and be able to get to 102 points, which is six points above what you would need for that bet. So um, no, I would I would suggest going under, but in the same sense, anything can happen. They can still hit their points. Golden can come back out on fire. You can see Melbourne United come back out on fire. You never know. Um, but for me, I think that, yeah, Melbourne United be under 95.5. Uh, Ansamane Kamara says, what's your prognosis? My prognosis is a good game. Good game coming up. Good game coming up. Uh, what's coming up? So we've got Bullets Kings on Tuesday. Oh, yeah, that's tomorrow during the day. Uh, 30, I'm not going to be doing that though, guys, because I it's the first thing it's Australia Day, and it's my last day here in Fiji, so I've got two streams that I'm doing regardless. Um, but then 36ers on, um, who the 36ers are playing? I think they're playing the New Zealand Breakers on Wednesday night. I'll be in Australia then, so I'll be streaming that one from my hotel room at my quarantine. From my quarantine hotel there. So that'll be, um, hopefully the internet will be good enough there. Uh, Anderson, and Anderson Lowe says, you could support Northwestern. Uh, oh, jeez, I've just seen a comment. Cos- Sorry, I'll read your comment in a second, Anderson Lowe. He said, Cosmos says, I put 1,000 euro Melbourne over 95 and a half. Well... I think that was the wrong bet, but I hope you get up for you, man. I hope it gets up for you. Uh, but yeah, I think that's... I don't think so, man. I'm sorry, but I think you've made the wrong decision there. But, you know, you could be right and I could be wrong. So don't... That's just my opinion. Uh, and it's the says you could support Northwestern. They're located in Evansville, which is just outside downtown Chicago. Even though their basketball team isn't the best, they're more known for an academic school. Nah, Illinois. Illinois is uh, doing pretty good this year. And obviously, they're um, basically what's well, the state of Chicago, I guess. Uh, and it's says they're still closer to Chicago compared to um, Urbana Champaign, which Illinois is in. Um, I'm trying to think of a team that had a really good year the other year. They were like this shock. They were, what was it? Um, they were from Chicago. Uh, everyone was getting around, and they they got to the, I think they got to the final four, 
was it the final four and they lost the Villanova or something like that? This was like two, three years ago, maybe three, four years ago now. It was just before that year, Virginia went. Loyola, that's the one. Loyola. I would love to go for Loyola, but they're obviously not that great. Um, I just go over kind of in the NCAA. I don't really care. I'm not really fascinated too much with specifically supporting a team. I guess I just support the whole area of Illinois, I would say. Um, Mason Experience says, I think Brisbane will win tomorrow. Uh, Brisbane plays Sydney Kings. Ooh, tight game. Kings have actually looked not too bad so far this season. Bullets haven't looked terrible, but they've been unlucky in their 0-2 losses to the Hawks. Obviously, they've only played the Hawks, and they're a good team. Um, so, yeah, you could actually be right there, but I think it's very close. I think, uh, for me, right now, I'd be leaning with the Kings. I'd still be leaning with the Kings. Um, Brandon Frey says, Taipans are going to have a tough game against the Hawks. Anyone's having a tough game against the Hawks, and Taipans already lost the Hawks. So, uh, yes, the Taipans play the Hawks on the on Thursday. I will be streaming that game, guys. I will stream that game. Uh, don't forget, guys, if you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. We do as many NBL games as we can that don't interrupt with NRL, AFL, and uh, rugby, and also the um, and also the A League. Uh, and Samane says, thank you, I don't speak English, I'm French. Well then, buddy, how are you understanding what I'm saying and how are you commenting in English? What do you mean you don't understand English? You're doing English just fine right now. Anderson Lowe says, Tyler Harvey is balling for the Hawks. Yeah, he is. He, he, is, having a, he is having a good, nice little season there. And um, so is... Um, well, oh, Justine and Jess have only had one really good game, to be honest with you. He had a fantastic game in that second game. In that third game, actually, against the Bullets, he really pulled home in that fourth quarter. He had no points up until halfway through the third, and then just went bang, 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 and had some points on his name. So um, I think if people looked at that game um, and, and saw him for actually what he did, it wasn't that great until the third quarter, and then he went absolutely bang late on there. Um, but yeah, he's a little decent player there. Obviously, like I've been saying, um, he is uh, he was a second round pick for the Golden State Warriors uh, in the NBA, uh, which was uh, which is nice. But I'm not too sure he'll ever get a spot on that team. To be completely honest with you, I think that he's a decent little player here, but I don't know if he'll be able to translate that to the NBA uh, with what I've seen so far necessarily. Brandon Frey says the Hawks coach is good. The Hawks are good. The Hawks in general are just good, man. The Hawks in general are just good. Alrighty, so the second half is very close to getting underway here, guys. We're on 64 likes. Let's get one more like to make 65 before the end of half time. Um, let me know what your score predictions are. I am going to go with... I'm actually going to go Cairns still, and I'm going to say 88, 80, damn well, 6. Is that a right with you guys? Well, I hope it is, because right now, I'm still backing in Cairns 88, 86. I'm still backing them in. I said 88, 86 before the game started. And guess what? I'm still here at halftime saying the exact same damn well scoreline. So, the score is at halftime, 51-45. I'm telling you, they're coming. They're coming, son. Declan Smith says, what are you watching this game on? I'm watching it on uh, Twitch.tv. On Twitch, it's, it's free for everyone to watch. All right, so here we go. Um, and Melbourne United will start off with the ball here. Uh, 9 minutes 53 to go here of the third quarter. United are going to move this ball around nicely. Now gets it off to Golden. Golding out on deep. He's trying to look inside. Wow, wow. Behind the back pass. Gives it off to Jack White. And Jack White's going to miss that one. Cameron Oliver here with the defensive rebound. Gets it off to Machado. Machado drives past the half court. Machado looking for some space um, around where Kenny is. But he's going to look for Cameron Oliver inside. Could be an offensive foul there. No, he gives it off for the three here. And will miss that one there badly there for the Taipans. He was so open. Yeah, dude, get with your shit, son. That was terrible. That was absolutely terrible. So six-point game here with nine and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. That was a horrific three-point attempt there, which was completely open. Melbourne Knight here, blocked off in the corner, basically. Gets it off to Jack White. White's going to give him the screen there for goal and gets it off to uh, Thompson. Thompson's going to give it back off to... Uh, Landau, Landau puts it up, puts it up. No, that gets taken down. And that's going to be an offensive rebound here for Melbourne United. Looking for the ball. It's going to be, well, it's going to be had it stolen then. So it will be jump ball, which there is no jump ball here in the NBL, which I believe, I don't really know what the rules are in regards to that. You know, ju no jump ball is stupid. It's just absolutely stupid. Uh, so it just goes apparently to Cairns. It makes no sense because sometimes it goes to the home team and sometimes it goes to the away team. I don't know, buddy. Shit, no. I don't know, I don't know. All right, so Cairns here with the ball. Gets it up to Cameron Oliver. Oliver's been good in this game. Besides those two early fouls, gives it off inside here to Machado. Machado puts it up outside for three. Outside for three. Boom! That's a three for Cairns Taipans. And it's a three-point game, 51-48, with eight and a half minutes to go here of the third quarter. Krasilovic. Krasilovic. Remember, United here for three. No, drives inside the paint. Inside the paint. That's a foul. Not a foul, apparently. And with a three, they can tie this game up, or they can take the... Um, but they can take a uh, one point. Oh, it's nearly a tie game there with a three, but he does miss that one. It bounces in and out. Melby Knight get this ball out to the wing. They're going to push forward here. 
And not really much movement going on right now. The Melbourne United driving to the paint. Easy two. And he will lap that one down and back, in, back into a five-point game here at 53-48. Chris Golding there with the layup there for the two points. He's five from eight from the field. The only shots he's missed so far are those three threes that he took. Kwat Noy here for three. Boom! Kwat Noy with the three. Back to a two-point game here. Wow, we Kwat Noy says, no, sir, Ray, we are coming, son. It is now only a two-point game with seven minutes to go here in the third quarter. I told you, cans are coming. Cans are coming. Don't, buddy, think this game is anywhere near over yet. Melbourne United. McCarran gets his ball outside here for Golding. Golding looking for a shot, but he's got... He, don't take a shot. No, no, and no, no, no. Terrible shot there. And it's going to be a miss too. Cairns will get the rebound here. They can take... They can tie it up here with a two. And Cameron Oliver inside. And that's going to be two free throws coming up here. Two free throws coming up here. So it should be 53-53 here. Oliver does miss a couple of free throws, to be completely honest with you. Oliver does miss a couple of cheeky little free throws from time to time. So, you know, it's not necessarily a tight game here, but wow, cans are flying. I'm telling you, cans are on a bad buddy team. So I don't know they started off one and two, but, you know, I think they win this game. I think they win this game. So Cameron Oliver's going to be at the line here for his first free throw, and his first free throw will get the first free throw off the lucky bounce there off the front of the rim, bounces off the backboard, and then goes in. So he's two from three today. Now, can you get this one to tie this one up for the first time since the beginning of the damn whole game? Well, we 12 points, 6 rebounds, 2 fouls, and hits the second free throw. Tie game, 53-53. Ouchie mama, what a game we've got going on here. With 7.5 minutes to go the third quarter, it is a tie game, 53-53. <coughs> and now that's going to go inside, and that's going to be an easy slam dunk arena there for Jack White. Wow, we. That is a, uh, that is a great pass there as well. Um, Wow, Chuck Landau with the great pass to Jack White, and Jack White puts it home. All right, so 55-53 here. Landau's first assist of the game, by the way. Machado now with the ball, looking for something. Going to go for a deep two. No, he will not take the, the... Sorry, deep three, sorry. He will look for the three now. He's going for a little step around, step around, step around inside, and will miss that one. Poor shot. Machado's been pathetic when it comes to shooting today. He's not been great. Oh, they're keeping it inside here, though, Melbourne United. He's been not great here, Scott Machado. Um, in this game, in regards to offensive um, maneuvers, he got a couple of. I think he's got one, three, and a two, but he hasn't been great necessarily. So Landell here with the ball, he's going to back him up, back him up. It's a travel, 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 travel against Landell. We'll come back here for Cairns. So a two point game. If they get a three, they can take the lead for the first time probably since the first minute or the first two minutes. If they get a two, they tie it up again. Gee whiz. This game is very damn well close considering it was a nine-point lead at one stage. I can see down there in the bottom left-hand corner one of the Cairns plays, putting his, he's tapping his head. I'm looking, at, looking for that one, and that'll be an easy screen there, and that's going to be a Scotty Machado 2. Scotty Machado 2. All right, so uh, that's going to be a three. Oh, Jack White's going to bang in a three. Jack White's going to bang in a three. Uh, Josh Sam, please keep it related. We all know that's a lie. Come on, brother. Come on, keep it, keep it related to the game, please. So 58-55 here. And Kant's now with the ball. It's going to be Kawat Noy. Gets it outside here for three. Oh, that's nearly a foul. Gets the offensive rebound, though. Puts it up, and there's a two. And makes it a one-point game here, 58-57. 58-57 with five minutes, four to go here. And that's a three. That's going to be a bad three. And there's a chance here for Kant to take the lead here with a two. Scotty Machado brings the ball past the half court. He goes around, put it up for Scotty. Put it up for what are you doing? Machado, take him off. He's been shocking. Machado's been shocking, man. Oh my goodness me. Machado's been shocking. So that's going to be a two there for Melbourne United. Take off Scott Machado. He hasn't been good in this game. My God. So 60 57 here. Two Melbourne United. Jock Landau with seven rebounds. Um, but offensively, he's missing all his shots, and his passes haven't been that great. Like, you lobbed that ball up there for Cameron Oliver just then, and he gets an easy slam to, to take the lead in the game and makes it a 59-58 to 58 game, and then you get back on defense and, and, and not uh, have that turnover that led to a quick little shot. That's frustrating if you're a Cairns fan. You know, that's frustrating because he's been doing this all day. Scott Machado has not been great. All right, so Cairns here with the ball. They inbound the ball. They're going to look for the pass. It's really good full pressure here. Really good full pressure here, but it will be a foul. It will be a foul there against Golding. It will be a foul against Golding. Anderson Lowe says, Jack White's pretty good. Seen him play with Duke. He's played pretty good in this game, man. Jack White's been playing pretty good in this game. And Golding will get the foul there, guys. Golding will be get the foul. So Cairns here with the ball from the inbound. It is a three-point game, 60-57 here. Tim Melbourne United with a halfway to go here in this third quarter. 
It's going to be Cairns at the three-point line. They're looking for a movement around. They get to it back around the Kmart. Damn, I'll sign it. Come on, I just said Kmart sign. Kevin Oliver for three. Kevin Oliver for a deep three. Misses that one. Pretty poor shot choice, to be honest with you. That's another thing that grinds me with this uh, NBL, is that they make a lot of bad shot choices and, and reads because they want to be the glory hunter. Um, that's a good play there. It should be an M1. No, he will miss the two-pointer, uh, but he will be going up to the line for two free throws here. Jock Landau. It was a little nice little play there uh, that put him into a nice position. Uh, but unfortunately, the ball does not fall down for him. But it will be two free throws coming up regardless. Will be two free throws coming up regardless. So Krisilovic will be with his second foul there. With four minutes, 45 to go in the third quarter. Cameron Oliver, man, you shouldn't have been taking that deep three, man. Like, I know you can make your shots. I do. I know you can make your shots. But you shouldn't be taking the three in that, in that position just then. So Landau with 16 points so far. He's got most of his points in the first half, though. Uh, he will hit that free throw, so he's 3-for-3 three three from the line. It's now a four-point game. Honestly, if this game starts to blow out, I would I would put a little bit of onus. Oh, that's going to be a miss there from Chuck Landau. I'll put a little bit of onus on Scotty Machado for that bad mistake. That would have taken the lead there, and that would have mentally changed this entire perspective. Uh, so Cameron Oliver with eight rebounds in this game. They drive inside here. That has to be an offensive foul or a foul. Um, excuse me, how is there nothing there? That had to be either an offensive foul or a foul against the uh, the defender. Like, there's no way there was no foul there from either, anyone. So, Cameron Oliver will get the rebound there, um, and it will be Cansey with the ball. They're going to drive past the half court. I can't believe that genuinely there was no foul there for either team. There should have been at least one for one of them. Quite annoying. He goes inside. Good defense there, but he will get the two as well, though. Better offense and makes it a two point game here. 61 to 59 with four minutes to go here of the third quarter. Quite annoying. Four points, 14 points in this game. And four from nine free, uh, from sh shots. Not great, but still, they need those 14 points right now. Uh, Landau with 17 points. Oh, easy two there for Ishe Illy for Melbourne United. Makes it a four-point game again. 63 to 59 with three minutes, 50 to go here. Anderson Lowe says, to be fair, stretch five and deep threes are kind of a trend now in basketball. They are, but in the same sense, it shouldn't be really in the NBL. The NBL is really a slam dunk in the league, in my opinion. Oh, that's a brilliant three from Kuat Noi. Was that Kuwait Noi? It was Kuwait Noi with the three. It makes it a 17 points for him today and makes it a one-point game. Kuwait Noi is having a damn well good start to this season. It's going to be Melbourne United here with the ball. They're going to get it back outside here to McCarron. McCarron gets it outside to Shea Illy. Illy here for a deep two. No, he drives inside. It's going to be a foul against Cairns. No two free throws, but it will be a foul here against Cairns. It will be a foul here against Cairns. So Kuwait Noi, unbelievable. That was a really tough shot to hit that two just before... Um, it was a really tough shot to hit that two. And then that three as well, which is unbelievable. Wowee. All righty. So, foul coming up here. And Melbourne United will have the ball from the inbounder. Golding from top five three-pointers. Four from seven for Golding. Oh, here we go. Deep two. And we'll miss that one. Good rebound. Oh, that's a foul. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's really going to hurt Noy there. He's really fallen back down hard on his back just now. Oh, man. On that court, that would hurt. But he'll be fine, I think. I think he'll be fine here. So 63 to 62 here. Three minutes, 11 to go here of the third quarter. Gee, damn well whiz. That would really damn well hurt as he comes down there completely on his back. That one would absolutely suck. Like that would genuinely suck right there. All right. So three minutes, 11 to go here of the third quarter. Oh, thank you very much, Riley Marlow, for subscribing. Appreciate it, man. If you're wondering, if you subscribed already and you're wondering why that hasn't come up yet, you have to have public subscri subscriptions on. Um, so three minutes to go here of the third quarter. It's going to be Canty inside the paint. Puts it up, puts it up, and wow, he misses that too. That was an easy layup there, and he misses that. So that would have been the first lead of the game there for Cairns, but he does miss it. So it's 63-62 here. Lawala Achul back on the court here, and he's been uh, having a really good rebound again. I think he's on seven rebounds so far. Shea Illy fakes the three, goes through it from the two-point line. No, he gives it out for a good three. Wow. That's a great three there by Melbourne United in the corner. Udai Baba, who had a very good first game. Uh, he was sensational in that first game, to be honest with you. Um, hits another three there that really helps them out. All right, so Deng here with the ball. He's going to look. Uh, he's going to get back inside. He's in the paint. He's in the paint. Gets it out for the three. Back into Deng. Deng back in up top, and he will miss that one. Offensive rebound? No. It will be a defensive rebound there, and it will come away for Shea Illy. Shea Illy's going to drive past the half court right now. And uh, all right, so it's going to be Barlow. Barlow gets it off to Luala Chul, who gets it back to Shea Illy. Shea Illy's going to screen around from Luala Chul, and that's going to be a foul against Cairns there. That's going to be a foul against Cairns. They need to be, be careful. They don't let this blow out right now. They've done very good in this third quarter to bring it back to a four-point game and a tied game at one stage. 
Um, but unfortunately, they haven't been able to take that next step mentally to actually take the lead in this one. Taking the lead is a big step. You need to you know, take that step and understand um, how to make your shot um, and, and, and to, to put the clutch in. You know, they've got to put the clutch in right now. They've got to start hitting their shots to take the lead because, yes, it's great being down by one. Yes, it's great tying the game up. But they have been, with many opportunities in this game, to take the lead and they simply cannot find their shot to go down when they need it to. So it is a problem right now. It is definitely a problem. Uh, so there's going to be a timeout. We're going to have a timeout right now. And it is 66-62. Melbourne United will have the ball after the timeout resumes. But it is only a four-point game. And like I said, keep backing him. But like I said to you guys at three court, at half time, it's going, I'm telling you, Melbourne United aren't getting over 95 and a half points. I can't see them getting 30 points in that, uh, in that fourth quarter right now, so far. I'm not too sure about that one. That'd be a very difficult one for them to, um, that'd be a very difficult one for them to get. So I think right, right now what they're telling Cairns is just take some better shots, man. Stop going for some ridiculous shots from out the side. You don't need the threes necessarily right now. You just need to take your twos. You just need to go inside. You know, you're doing well inside. You're doing well um, by moving the ball around and just driving to the rim. If you, if you pick your shots a little bit better, you probably take the lead here. Um, stop taking such deep threes. You know, I look straight towards... Um, I look straight towards Scott Matata when I say stop taking stupid shots. You know, you should be passing the ball right now. Stop taking your shots because you're obviously making a lot of misses. So pass the ball, get your teammates set up nicely, and then you win this game. Honestly, you win this game. If, if Scott Matata stops taking stupid shots, Kuwait Noise starts getting a little bit more open, um, and they can start really pushing that ball out for, um, you know, for, for some mid-ranging twos or even some threes because Kuwait Noise is finding himself pretty hot from the three-point line tonight. He's finding himself pretty hot from the three-point line. So I think there's a technical foul here. There is a technical foul here against the Taipans, I believe. So it's going to be a five-point game here. It's going to be a technical foul here against the Taipans. Yeah, so it's going to be a free throw here for Chris Golding. Free throw here for Chris Golding. I'm not too sure what happened there. I don't know why, I don't know why there's been a technical here. So Golding puts it up, and we'll get the free throw. There you go. So it will be Melbourne United here with the ball. The free throw is made there for the Tech. And there's only two minutes, seven to go here of the third quarter. All righty. So they're going to inbound this ball here. They get off to Barlow. Barlow looking for Shea Illy. Illy's going to bring it back around the half court. He's got the screen from Luella Chul. They haven't really used Luella Chul too, too much in this third quarter so far. Illy puts it up, and he will miss that one. Offensive rebound? No, will not be an offensive rebound, but he puts his foot down on the line there. Noi, Kuwait Noi puts his foot over the line after he gets a defensive rebound, and it will come back here. It will come back from Melbourne United. Jeez, that's a poor decision there. Well, not poor decision, but just a poor mistake. Um, and Noy is going to put his foot over the line. Now, Jawai is going to come in here for uh, Cairns. He hasn't been as strong and dominant as he needs to be in this game, considering he's such a big and strong guy. Uh, need to be seeing more from him in this game right now. But Melbourne United are going to inbound this ball. They look out to the right-hand side here. They get off to Golden. Golden here to Lawala Chul. Gets it back here for, um, for McCarron. McCarron's got the screen there from Golden. Oh, he misses that one. That was a nice little fadeaway shot there from three, but he will miss that one. So it's going to be Cairns here with Jared Kenny, he brings the ball past the half court after he gets the defensive rebound. Rebounds this game, 22 to Cairns and 28 for Melbourne United. All right, so Jared Kenny here, he's looking for the ball out on the left-hand side, gets it off to Deng. Deng's going to look for Jawai. Jawai's got the ball here. He's going to back up Luwala Chul. He's going to get it outside here for three for Kwat Noi, and Noi's going to miss that one, and that's going to be a... Oh, that's going to be... Wow, disagree with that one. I think they came off Melbourne United there. I think they came off Melbourne United there, but he's going to say it's a um, Melbourne United ball. I'm not sure about that. I'm not too also sure why they're for that forcing that three just there. Move the ball around and more if you can't get that decent shot off. There was still con um, contested possession there. It was a very contested three, so I'm not too sure why you're taking that shot just there. Okay, if it falls, it falls, and that's great. But if, if it doesn't fall, you look like an idiot. And right now, you look like an idiot because that didn't fall. And that's not necessarily on Kuwait Noi right there. Um, the shot clock was uh, quite further down, but like that was on Kansas offense to really, um, I'm telling you, they're choking it up when they get close. You know, they're keeping it close, but they're choking it up when they're actually getting a, a, a chance to take the lead in this game. So Luella Chula here backing up on Jawai. Good defense there, but no, Luella Chula will still hit that shot. That's a great two-pointer there from Luella Chula. All right, so Scotty Machado here brings the ball past the half court. One minute left here of the third quarter. Back out to a seven-point game right now. Scott Machado drives inside, drives inside the paint. Don't put it up. No, Machado. You're an idiot, bros. 
Get this douche off the court. He's been so bad. United here for three. United here for three. Get a three. And Yadi Baba will miss that one. It will be a Lamar Chalup rebound. And it will be a foul. Like, I'm sorry. Get Scott Machado off the court. He has been horrific. Scott Machado has been horrific for Cairns. He's missing every single shot. Every single shot Scott Machado takes, he is missing. He doesn't need to take that shot. Why is he taking a two there from the free throw line? He doesn't need to be taking that opportunity there. Move the ball around. There was nine seconds left in the shot clock. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, Joe Myers says, anyway, stream this game online. Yeah, man, on twitch.tv. Twitch.tv, you can get the game for free uh, on the NBL. All right, so 38 seconds left here. Third quarter it is a seven-point game. Melbourne United will have the ball here. Scott Machado is apparently still on the court. This guy has been horrendous. Take him off. All right, so here we go. Melbourne United here with the ball inside. Luella Chul, Luella Chul should get an easy two there, and we'll miss that layup. That was easy. Oh, my God. That is so... This is a choke and a half here by Cairns. This is a choke and a half here by Cairns. I actually can't believe what I'm watching here. If this ball goes off Cairns here, that's going to be... I think that's off his knee. I don't think that's off Cam Oliver. I think that's off his knee there. I think this will be a Cairns ball. Wow. No, it is United ball. That should have been Cairns ball. Oh, man. That's crazy. That's a bad call there. That's a really bad call. That's off his knee there. I think that should be a Cairns ball. Uh, Aswad Marwan says, how likely will Cairns win? Um, it's not an unbelievable like likeliness right now, but it's still, yeah, it's going to be turned over. See, good call. Good call. Good call. So it is off the knee there of Luella Trula, and it will come back here for Cairns ball. Um, I like Cairns still to win, but they are choking every time they get close. Every time they get close to this game, Scott Machado has been literally a 2 out of 10 for me. He's not been great. He's taken too many stupid shots, and they're just not taking the right shots right now, Cairns. They're choking every time they get close. So 18 seconds left here of the third quarter. Uh, Machado here outside for the three, outside for the three, outside for the three. Oliver here instead. We'll give it inside. Four seconds left. Misses that one. Jawai with the rebound. No, Luella Chul gets the rebound there, and that will be the end of the third quarter. That will be the end of the third quarter. So look, you know, the game is still on at seven points. Um, it was nine points at the end of the first quarter. It was six points at the end of the halftime. And now it's gone out to seven points, despite the fact that Cairns have multiple opportunities to take the lead there in that quarter. They did bring it back to a one-point game. They did bring it back to a tied game. And every time they got the opportunity to take the lead, they weren't able to do it. That's going to affect their mentality. That's going to affect the positivity right now. And that's going to affect the way that they're going to be talking in this three-quarter time. You know, they have had the opportunities. No one can deny it. But for some reason, they can't find that last shot. You know, they can't find that ability to put the ball in the net when they desperately need to. You know, that's the thing. They're, they're really struggling to actually get the job done right now um, in the clutch. They've got a whole fourth quarter to fix it. It is only a seven-point game. There is a long way to go here. Um, but, you know, I just don't know how to back in a team that doesn't know how to, to, to finish off the job. You know, just do the same thing you've been doing repetitively over and over and over again. But no, they can't seem to do it. Uh, P.S. Jamie says, who's the NBL team? Um, I don't have a team, man. I just enjoy watching the sport. Whenever I support an international league, for example, NBA, I will always support the local league too. Um, so I support the NBA and the NBL. Uh, NBL. Uh, with the uh, Premier League, I also support the A-League. You know what I mean? So I always support local leagues. I, Australian baseball, I don't really care too much about, but it's not really too much of a league and there's not really too much um, support behind it uh, because it's not really a financially invested in. But AJ Ellis, he loves his buddy a Australian baseball. Um, to be honest with you. Uh, Brandon Fraser says, Scott Machado can at times be an awesome player, but I don't know why he's playing the way he is tonight. Scott Machado has been a dead set one and a half out of 10. A one and a half out of 10. He has looked pathetic. Get him off the court. He's taking shots that don't make any sense to a three-year-old, let alone to a grown adult who is a professional player in the NBL. Stop taking stupid shots because you want the glory. Wait for your teammates to get into the right position. Wait for your teammates to move into an area that you can pass it to where they can pass it to somebody who's in the right position. Don't just take a shot because you feel like you're going to take a shot and it's going to go in. You know, you need to know you've got a right opportunity. And he's being very selfish in this game. He's missing everything he puts up. And his passes haven't been good either. And his defense has been shit too. Like, I can't tell you a positive that I've seen from Scott Machado in this game. I couldn't tell you a single positive. 
Uh, Natan Holt says, Heat lost finals. It was so close, 4-2. to two. I mean, 3-4. to four. I don't know what that means. Um, but 69-62 here with 7 points. The difference in the fourth quarter is coming up here. Let me know what your score prediction is for the end of the game, guys. Let me know what your score prediction is. So, Melbourne United will get the ball here for the fourth quarter. Um, I swear Melbourne United have started off with the ball in every quarter so far. <laughs> Kuwait Noi puts the ball up there, and it will be a Machado here with the ball, but that was not really an offensive rebound. It just fell straight to him there. It didn't even go off the backboard. Um, it was basically like a pass to him. So, Cam Oliver here is going to back him down. No, he gets it outside here for three. Gets it back into Cam Oliver. Oliver here inside. Needs it, and one. You count on your star players in the clutch, and he is going to get the end one here. He is going to get the end one. Jamila Freak says this will end 81-79. Uh, I'm still going 88-86. I'm still going 88-86. I think this will be a high-scoring quarter here from Cairns. And I think this will be a reasonably scoring quarter here from Melbourne. I think 88-86 Cairns. I'm still calling it. I've said it since the start of the game, and I'm saying it still now. I'm saying it still now. So 69-64 here with 9 minutes 40. And Cam Oliver will hit the second free throw. The first free throw, sorry. The only free throw. So it's now back to a four-point game here. 69-65. 69 to 65. Nine and a half minutes to go. Here. Luwala Trulet with nine, 10 rebounds. Cam Oliver, nine rebounds. Landau, seven. Jack White, five. And Quat Noy with four. It's going to be Melbourne United here with the ball out at the three point line. They're going to back it up here. They're going to drive inside the paint, gets it outside here for uh, Landau for three. Deep two. We'll hit that one there. Wow, we. That was pretty average defense there. Um, from Cairns, and Jock Landau has just gone and banged that for his 19th point of the game, seven from 10 in today's game. It will be a that will be a foul there against Melbourne United, uh, so that's going to be their first one. It's not going to be two free throws here for quite annoying, but it will be a foul there against Melbourne United. Uh, Aowad Maruan says 84-82. Fair enough, but who to? So you think 84-82 Cairns or 84-82 to Melbourne? You know Bubba hasn't had the same impact in today's game like he did against the 36ers. Um, you know, I think that... Uh, Golding hasn't been as good since the first quarter, uh, but I think Luella Trill is, is doing doing his job like normal. I think Landau's having a great game like usual, um, and I really would like to see a little bit more here from Shea Ely, but Ely's been moving around the court quite nicely, despite the stats probably not favoring him right now. But don't forget, guys, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, smack that thumbs up button if you haven't already, um, and let's get back into this with nine minutes to go here. So it's going to be Canty with the ball. Machado gets the ball out of Jawai. Jawai with an easy put down here, and he will hit the two. So it is back to a four-point game here. 71-67 with nine minutes to go here the fourth quarter. Jawai puts that in for his sixth point of the game, three from five in this game. And now gets it back here to Landau. Landau's going to look for Illy in the corner. Illy gets it. He gets a screen. Three. Good contest, though. Great defense there. Was that Machado? That was Machado. So I will give him a positive there. Machado brings the ball past the half court here. He screens around Jawai. He goes for a three, and he will miss that. What are you doing, bros? What are you doing taking a three there when you've still got 18 seconds left on the shot clock? Holy shit, bro. Holy shit. Like, I'm not even a Cairns fan, and I want to punch this man in the face. What are you doing, bro? Why is Scott Machado taking all these shots? You are cold. You are cold. You are missing everything. That is not a good shot choice to make. Pass the ball, you absolute dick. Holy shit. So eight and a half minutes left here. It's going to be two free throws coming up for Melbourne United. I tell you what, Cairns have a big reason to blame um, Scott Machado in this game. They have a huge reason to potentially blame Scott Machado for losing this game because every time they get into a winnable position, he bloody goes and takes a stupid shot from deep three. All right, so Yudo Bubba hits two free throws there. And it will be Cairns now with the ball with eight and a half minutes to go here. Cairns are going to drive past the half court. Uh, they're looking for Jawai on the edge. They will not give it to him, though. Uh, he can't move here. He gives it up to Machado. Don't take a shot. Don't take a shot. Don't take a shot. Don't take That's an offensive foul, isn't it? You dickhead. Oh, take him off. Oh, take off Scott Machado. It's an offensive foul against Scott Machado. Oh, my God. Take him off. Take him off. Take him off. Take him off. Oh, this guy has been the best Melbourne United player tonight. For Oh, my God, Scott Machado. You are horrific in this game. Next little player says, Melbourne, Melbourne, Melbourne. Don't get me wrong, man. I'm not, a, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of any team. So don't think that I'm getting around. I'm like, I am getting around cancer, I guess. But in the same sense, like, I'd be reacting this way if it was Melbourne too. Like, this guy has been horrific, man. Uh, next little place up from Russia. But I'm uh, Melbourne. I'm going to be a champion. Get around the old Russia. I'd uh, be quite cold there right now, wouldn't it? Be? Very cold. So that's going to be tough. Oh, that's a backcourt violation. 
That's a backcourt violation. No backcourt violation there. No. Um, oh, three. Oh, he misses the three. It will be a Jawai rebound there. Nice strong rebound from Jawai. Oh, Machado's got the ball. Oh, no. Watch this. It's going to be a fancy foul in it. Or it's going to be a stupid three. Don't you dare take the three. Don't you, don't you do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Take the, don't take the three. It's an offensive foul. <laughs> I'm actually in shock. I'm actually in shock. Get him off. 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 How is he still on the court? How is this man still on the court? Um, I live in uh, Yakutsk, minus 50 degrees Celsius. Ouchie, mama. I've lived in minus 37 degrees before in Canada, uh, but not... Uh, oh, misses the three. The offensive rebound there, though, and that's going to be... Wow, Hobson with a great offensive rebound there, and he puts it in for Melbourne United. That's a fantastic shot. That minus 50 is ridiculous. Scotty Hobson there goes boom. So Kenny here brings a pull pass to half court for Cairns. Um, he's going to give it back on the edge. Seven and a half minutes ago. Oh, Machado. Oh, my God. Machado is just bouncing off his toe. Get this man off the court before I blow a casket, man. Oh, my God. This guy is dead set. A zero out of ten at best. At dead set best. This guy is so bad, bro. Get him off the court. I don't care if he's usually good in other games. He has been ter terrible. Sorry. I did say terrific, but I meant like ter terrific for Melbourne United. Um, Brandon Freya says, I would have more faith in the coach playing on the team than Machado. Take him off. Exactly, bro. What is he still doing on the court right now? He still hasn't been taken out. He's still on the court. What is going on? Look at him. He's not even been good defensively. There's no point having him on the court right now. So Melbourne United here with the ball. They're going to drive around Cameron Oliver. Gets it outside here for... Um, oh, he's going to not take the three there. Fake the three. And Yadi Baba gets the two. This is like... this is like If you're a, if you're a Cairns fan, blame Scott Matado as a large reason. He's got the ball here. If he loses his ball... Oh, I can't I tell you right now. I, <laughs> Cam Oliver for two here, and he'll miss that one. It will be an offensive rebound here for Cairns. He's going to put it out here, outside for three. No, they're not going to take it. Oh, no, Scott Machado with the ball. Don't do it. Oh, he's going to, he's going to put it up. Oh, Scott Machado. Oh, my God. Take this dickhead off the court. <laughs> like, it's painful to watch him. It's painful to watch this man. It's painful to watch this man right now. Oh, my God. I'm actually in pain watching this man play right now. Okay, so timeout. Surely you don't bring out Scotty, buddy, Machado. Surely. <laughs> and it's just funny at this point. Man, I'm forgetting to laugh, to be honest with you, man. Like, I'm in pain watching this man play right now. I'm in pain. Defensively, he's been terrible. Offensively, he's been terrible. Can't hit a shot to save his life. Can't make a play to save his life. Can't pass the ball to save his life. And can't block... Oh, he's definitely not going to block on a shot. He's too small. And he's not doing anything defensively. So why is this man on the court? You know, I honestly tell you right now that you could get this team having four players on the team and they'll be playing better right now. They'll be playing better. Blind Freddy plays better than Machado in this game. It's outrageous. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm infuriated. I mean, <laughs> I'm infuriated, man. I'm infuriated and I couldn't really care less about this result. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, eh? What are you going to do with you, Scotty Machado, you absolute moron? Wow, we. But Landau's had a great game. Like, you cannot hold this one away from Landau. He's looked so good. ADL says, unrelated Frank Lampard to be sacked today looks like it. Well, fair enough, to be honest. That team is absolute dog shit with him in charge. Speaker, yeah. Well, it's not really unrelated. We talked about dog shit in regards to um, how Scotty Machado's been playing, and now we're talking about Lampard in regards to how he's coaching that team. Oh, my God. Oh my God, they're bringing Scott Machado back out. Oh my God, don't, don't do it to me. Oh my God, they're bringing Scott Machado back out onto the court. Who is this coach? Is this coach a moron or what? Why is Scott Machado coming back out here? So six minutes, 46 to go here of the game. Oh my God. If he lost that ball, then I would have flipped out. Oh, get that up there into it. Can all that noise and he will miss it. All right, so Melbourne United here with the ball. They drive past the half court. Three-pointer here for Yadi Baba, and that's a three. Bingo. Hey, bingo. It's a 13-point game now. I'm blaming Scott Machado for this loss. Oh, don't you dare take the three. Don't you dare take the three, Scott. He's actually... 
Oh my god, it's going to be goaltending. Oh my god, I'm actually infuriated. I'm in pain. I'm in pain. You know, don't talk about the virus right now. Like, I'm in, I'm in pain without the virus. I just need to watch Scott Machado play. It's obviously a goal thing there. Brendan Fraser says, Machado is just a name. Why is he playing so bad? Someone must have taken his talent just like in the movie Thunderstruck, if you know what I mean, Blaze. Uh, with Kevin Durant, yeah. But, like, I just don't understand what's going on here. Like, so it's an 11-point game here with six and a half minutes to go. He is a, a large reason. A very large reason. It's just like Thaddeus Young when he was playing for the Bulls the other day against um, the Sac- no the Oklahoma City Thunder. Oh, the Wild Truly with three. Oh, he misses that one. And it will be a Machado rebound there. So Machado, do something. Do something. Machado drives inside. He drives inside and he will get two. Oh, he's actually done something. It's now a nine-point game. Oh, please, Scotty Machado. Please, for the love of God, do something. You idiot. So nine-point game here, 80-71 with five minutes 50 to go here of the fourth quarter. Melbourne United with the ball. Goulding. Goulding goes for a deep two, and he will hit the two. Wow, we good, uh, good shot there by Goulding. You can't stop that one. So Kansi are going to drive past the half court right now. 17 points uh, with six from 11 field goals. And it's going to be Machado here with the ball again. Oh, my God, please do something here. Machado here. He drives inside, drives inside, puts it up, and, oh, he's actually doing something late on. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. It's music to my ears seeing this man actually not being a moron. So he's 6 from 14 in this game. That's outrageous. Okay, so United here drive inside, and he will miss that one. Chance here for Kansas if they can hit a three or start getting some blocks and stoppages. Uh, Machado here goes for deep two, and will hit. Oh, my God. He's actually on fire now. Uh, Scotty Machado has just gone from the worst player ever to the best player in this game. It's now a seven-point game. <laughs> it's now a seven-point game. So five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. This is actually crazy. He's just gone and got six points in the last literally 40 seconds here. If they can get a block here, Cairns, this game is well and truly on right now. They go for a chance here for deep two. Misses that one. And it's going to be uh, Cam Oliver with the rebound. Cairns could be coming back here. Machado here. He's the hot player. Goes for three. Now he gets it outside. Gets it out to Machado again here. He's been hot in the last 40 seconds. Goes for a deep two. He's going to miss that one. Yeah, okay. You've gone from here to zero really quickly with that shot. So you died Bubba with the two rebounds so far. Oh, wow. That's a three. Oh, step back, but he does miss it. And that's going to be a rebound here for the Taipans. So seven-point game. They get a two, bring it back within five. This game is well and truly back on right now. Four minutes, ten to go. They need to get points, though. They can't be missing any shots here, and they need to keep getting stoppages. Cameron Oliver for three. Bad shot missed there. I'm sorry, but that's that's poor. That's real poor there by Oliver. Goes up there. Oh, wow. Turnover, though. Turnover. No, it comes back for Luella Chul. Luella Chul underneath. Good defense there. And really good defense there by Taipans. And they get the block. So three minutes to go here. Taipans go up. Put it up. Put it up. Put it up. Put it up. Oh, that's going to be hit away there. And that'll be Taipans ball. Wow. Okay. So a little nice little finish here for the Taipans. They are coming strong. They are coming strong. Right now, even though I've been insulting Scott Machado for this entire game, he's the guy you want the ball in the hands of right now. You know, truly, he's the guy you want the ball in the hands of. He's been absolutely horrific all game. But the last two minutes, it's been all Scotty Machado. I love how I've gone from absolutely demoralizing this man inside and out through his soul. And now, I'm actually saying he's the guy to get the ball to. So Cameron Oliver here with the ball at the three-point line. He gives it off to Machado. And, oh, don't tell me. Tell me that's the don't tell me that's a backcourt violation. Okay, you're very lucky there. So they have three and a half minutes to go here. They need a shot. They need a shot. Oh, Machado goes inside. He goes inside mid-ranger. Oh, we'll hit it too. We'll hit it too. So Machado's getting him back in this game. It's a five-point game here. He got him out of the game, and now he's bringing him back in. It's a five-point game. 82-77 here with three and a half minutes to go in the fourth quarter. It's going to be Melbourne United with the ball at the halfway point. They give it out to um, oh, Hobson there. Gets it outside. Chancy. Oh, it's a turnover. Canty with the ball. Canty with the ball. He's going to run away with it. He's going to put it up, put it up. That's an offensive foul, I think. That's an offensive foul. No, it's not. It's going to be a three. He's not going to take the three. Oh, why is it frozen there? Why is it stopped there? It's going to, it's going to be a three. Oh, you stupid moron. What are you taking the shot there for? What are you taking the shot? You had no reason to take that shot there, Machado. Oh, my God. I'm so 50-50 with this dick. All right, so it's going to be Landau here with the ball. And it's a three, deep three. Misses that three. It's going to be Machado here with the rebound. Five-point game, two minutes for you to go here. Very good game. Machado's going to bring the ball past the half court. That's his fifth rebound of the game. Machado's going to drive himself, drive himself, puts it up. That's a foul. Two free throws coming up. Whoo, man, oh, man, oh, man. 
Man, oh man, oh man. Well, it was good to leave him in, wasn't it? It was good to leave him in. So it is. Two minutes, 33 to go here. Two free throws coming up here for Machado. Um, he's literally got eight points in the last three minutes. Um, and two free throws coming up. Jamila Freak says, this Machado is bad. W well, he was. He's not right now. He's not right this second. He's playing like a machine the last three minutes. But outside of this last three minutes, he's been horrific. But this last three minutes, he's been really good. So 82.77 here. Two and a half minutes to go. And Machado here for his second free, first free throw, sorry. And he will miss the first free throw. Oh, my God. Uh, Jamila Freak says, well, did you see how he went to the basket? It could be an N1. Yeah, it should have been an N1. It should have been an N1. So he missed the first free throw there, and Machado will get the second free throw. So four-point game here. Well and truly on here. Guys, hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're on new around here. But Melbourne United will have the ball here, and they're going to drive this ball past the half court. Nine from 11 from the free throws for Cairns. All right, so 82-78. Four-point game. They need to stop right now, though, Cairns. They need to stop right now, as long as it's not a three as well. Bring it, keep it within six. Oh, that's good too, though, there from Scotty Hobson, who's been good in this fourth quarter. And it's going to be a six-point game here. Don't necessarily need the three, though. They don't need to push the three. They just need points. So it's going to be... Um it's going to be Canty with the ball. It's going to be Cameron Oliver here, out in the corner. He's looking for the three around. Oh, back in. Oliver. Oliver drives inside here. And it's going to be a travel. You're an idiot. I'm sorry. You're an idiot. And it was a three that they hit from the corner. Cameron Oliver, you're an idiot. Cameron Oliver, you just potentially have cost your team the game if they score at points here off this shot. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. Cameron Oliver, what are you doing there, son? What are you doing there? So, 84-78 with two minutes to go here. Melbourne United with the ball. Only two minutes left. 21-29 first quarter, 24-22 second quarter, 17-18 third quarter, and 16-15 in this fourth quarter right now. Ask the boss, hello, big Well, mate, hello, but you're in here for a bloody wild finish here. So six minutes left, a minute 50 to go. Melbourne United going to back it up here with Scotty Hobson. Gets it out for Jack White. Jack White drives inside here. Cameron Oliver goes up and meets him at the rim. But great shot by Jack White. And he makes it an eight-point game. They need to get stops here. They need to get shots, and they need to get stops. Shots and stops. That's all they need. Puts it out for three, though. Puts it out for three here for Cairns. Oh! It's a three. Back to a five-point game here with a minute 33 to go here. Chris Solovich hits that three-point. It's now two for three for him today. All right, so 86-81. I agree, Jimmy Lafreak, in regards to how he not blocked that. 86-81 here, five-point game. Kenny hits that. Sorry, he got the assist. And uh, Kudosinovich with the three. And chance here, Hobson, and he will miss that one. Cameron Oliver with the rebound. It's a five-point game. Mataro's going to bring the ball past the half court right now. If they score here, they bring it within a, uh, within a score. They put it outside, inside, underneath. That's a terrible pass, but they still get the ball here. Can still with the ball. They get back outside. They get back to Scott Machado. Machado went to Cameron Oliver. Oliver, there's a minute left here of the game. That's going to be a foul. Two free throws coming up here. Ouchie mama. As if you're giving away a foul there. Uh, Yashiro TV says, why they keep throwing the ball in three points? I know, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But um, it is now a, a five-point game, but two free throws coming up here for Cameron Oliver. If he can get both these free throws and then they can get a stop, it'll be a three-point game. Um, and they can just hit a three and tie the game up potentially. Jimmy Lafreak said, oh God, that was no foul. So 57 seconds left here of the game, guys. Like I said, smack the thumbs up button, subscribe for new round here. Golden with his second foul of the game. Cameron Oliver with 16 points, four from five free throws and 12 rebounds today. Meow Meow says, Melbourne win. Oh, it's a tight one right now. I wouldn't be locking it in just yet. Jimmy Lafreak says, when Machado has the ball, I hold my heart for Cairns. Well, he's been so good in the last three, four minutes that you should be giving the ball to him. But in the same sense, he's been so bad the whole game, you don't want to give the ball to him, you know? Like <laughs> so 59 seconds left here. Of the game, and it is a five-point game, but here comes Cameron Oliver to the free throw line, the two free throws. Can Cameron Oliver bring it back within five or bring it back within four? Sorry. Sorry, bring it back within. It is a five-point game right now, and he makes it. Oh, he misses his first free throw. Bro, what the shit, man? What the shit? Yashiro TV says, man, you can aim for three points if you're high percentage in shooting, but this Machado, even in under the ring, can't even jump in. I know, man, it's crazy, but he's the only reason that Kansas is still in it too. You know, Machado's been so bad for this whole game. He's been shocking. But, hold on, and Oliver hits his second free throw. So it is a four-point game here, 59 seconds left. But Machado has got like eight or ten points in the last like four minutes. So he's been good in the last four minutes, but he's been terrible the whole game. 
But Chance here, if they can get a stop, they need a stop here, Cairns. They need a stop. Melbourne here with the ball. They have it with McCarron. McCarron gets it back out to Golding. Golding here. He's going to drive inside, drive inside, drive inside, drive inside. Good defense there. It's going to be Cairns with the ball. It's a great stop. 43 seconds left to get the game. 22 seconds left on the shot clock. It's going to be Machado. Don't you dare give that ball away. A three, a three, a three. He's hit the three. It's a one-point game. It's 86 to 85 with 34 seconds to go here. Dimmy, 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 Derimich. One point game, 86-85 with 34 seconds left here. That is an absolute shot and a half there. That was great defense there from Cairns. And then Matana brings the ball past the half court. He looks shocking. Nearly gave away an offensive foul, to be completely honest with you. But gets a nice little screen there in the end. And Derimich goes and hits the three to make it a one point game. This is wild. Jamila Freak says, maybe you were right with the 88-86. Wow, I'm pretty close, though, regardless. I'm pretty close, though, regardless. Uh, Declan Smith says, what a shot. Next level place is unbelievable. It is. It's unbelievable. I, I called the game 88-86 before the game started, by the way, guys. So I'm pretty close, even if it doesn't happen. Jamila Freak says, if Machado made one free throw and Oliver, they would lead now, but they are not clutch. I've been telling you guys all game. It's a timeout, by the way. Timeout for Melbourne United. But I've been telling you guys all game. Cairns have had the opportunity so many times to take the lead. They've had so many opportunities to actually jump into the lead. But unfortunately, they can't take that final shot. They're going to get a chance here to win the game, I feel. I think they're going to get a chance to take a three or a take a two to win the game, and they're going to miss it because they've been doing it all game. They've had literally six or seven chances after the second half to take the lead every time they miss it, and then a blowout ensues. Ishiro TV says, bro, if only Machado shoot that missed free throw, they win already. Exactly right. Well, Machado and Oliver. Oliver missed the free throw as well. Uh, but yes, Machado has been 8 from 18 today. He's been horrific. But he has got most of those points uh, that he's got. All Like literally six of those shots have come in the last four minutes. So he's been clutch. But in the same sense, they need him to continue. Keep going here. Josh Cruz has minutes. There's 34 seconds left here of the game, guys. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here. Um, Miguel DeCosta says, come on, Cairns. All right, so Melby Knight here with the ball. There's 14 seconds on the shot clock, obviously. And Scotty Hobson's going to inbound this one. They need to get a stop here or just give up a two. If they give up a three, it's probably game over. If they give up a two, it's okay because it's only a three-point game. All right, Hobson here. He's going inside. Bad shot choice. Misses it. And Cairns here get the ball. Cairns here get the ball. It's 26 seconds left here. They have a chance to take the two to win the game here. They have a chance to take the two to win the game here. There's 18 seconds on the shot clock. They can hold it down here. Machado here with the ball. There's a chance here. There's a field 14 seconds on the shot clock. 17 seconds left of the game. Machado here drives around the screen. He goes inside. Machado from mid range two. You're an idiot. You're an idiot, bro. This guy's a, oh, this guy's an idiot. This guy's an idiot. This guy's an idiot. Machado's an idiot. How do you miss that, bros? How do you miss that? How do you miss that, bros? How do you miss that? This is, what did I just say to you guys? Word for word, what did I just say to you guys? Cairns will get the chance to win it with a two or a three. I said Cairns will get the chance to get it with a two or a three, but they'll miss it because they've been doing it all damn well game. What did I literally just say to you? The whole game they've been missing their shots when they've had the chance to take the lead. It's 86-85 and that was their chance to win the game right there. Meow Meow says it's finished. No, it's not. What are you talking about? They still get seven seconds left here to take, two, uh, take a three-pointer. This is nowhere near over. <laughs> They've got two free throws coming up here for Melbourne. Jack White here for two free throws. But I can't believe Cairns are even in this game right now, to be completely honest with you. Josh Cruz says seconds. Uh, there is seven seconds left here. There's two free throws coming up here for Jack White. It's a one-point game right now. He can make it a three-point game. So 86-85, Jack White here for the free throw line. His first free throw, he will get the first free throw. So it is a two-point game, 87-85. to 85. Jamila Freak says, maybe OT here, clutch. Maybe, maybe. So can he make his next free throw here? And Jack White will miss the next free throw. Oliver here with the rebound. They need to be quick. Only need two to tie it up instead of overtime. Machado, get the ball up. Get him. What are you doing for three, four? Oh, Machado, you're stupid, mate. Machado is an idiot. Machado is honestly horrific, bro. You pass the ball and take the two. I can't believe what I've just seen. I actually can't believe what I've just seen from Machado. He went from zero to hero and then back to absolute zero. I'm actually in shock. This guy is shocking. I blame Machado for that loss for Cairns. You know, I couldn't care less. I'm not a Cairns fan. I don't care who wins this game. But that game... It's a loss from Canton. I wouldn't even necessarily say Melbourne United won that game. 
Jock Landau had a fantastic game. You can't take it away from Jock Landau. No one else really was that fantastic. Luala Chul was okay. But if you're a Melbourne United fan, I think you were gifted that win from Scott Machado being horrific. I can't believe that. I actually can't believe how stupid you are to take that three-pointer there. Like, dude, you're the home team, right? So when you're the home team and you're going for the tie or going for the win at the end of the game, or sorry, when you're a team, right, and you're in that position, you're 87-85, you've got seven seconds left, you push the ball up, you go for the two, you're the home team. You go to overtime, your crowd's going to help you along the line. You are favorites in overtime and win the game, right? So you take the two. If you're the away team, you are facing the odds if you go into overtime and have the crowd behind the other team, right? So you want to end the game there and then before the, game, before the end of the game. So you go for the three. But if you're the home team, you go for the two, man. You do not go for the three in that situation. Gee whiz, if you're a Melbourne United fan, I wouldn't be happy. Oh, like, you'd be okay with the win, but you'd be thanking Manny Machado, not Manny Machado, Scott Machado there for that win because he gifted you that. That was a horrific performance from him. Holy wow. Uh, Brandon Frey says, I'm going to the DM Machado and tell him that he costs us the game. Um, uh, Rucker says, yeah, win. Jet Allen says, let's go up United. I wouldn't be too, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be too happy, mate. Josh Cruz says, final score. Final score is below us, man. 87-85 to Melbourne United. Um, I was very close to my score prediction of 88 to 86 um, to Cairns, but obviously the winner in the end was the um, was Melbourne United. But man, I tell you what, like if you're a Melbourne United fan, you got lucky there. And if you're a Cairns type fan, you you should be very upset with Scott Machado in that one. Um, Anderson Lowe says, imagine if he made that, it would have been crazy. It would have been, but he didn't. <laughs> Declan Smith says, I'm going to the same. Uh, what do you say? What do you say? Brandon to what? Oh damn, Machado! Oh no, guys, don't, 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 don't insult players like that, like that man. Like you can do it if you want, but in the same sense, like as long as you keep it within reason and, and banter, not like over the top as some people do with. But um, look, guys, it was a good game. Look, it was it was it was a good game there. And um, as much as I'm angry um, that Scott Machado is a moron, I enjoyed it. You know, that's all we're here for. We're here to enjoy, um, and that was a great game uh, to watch. To be completely honest with you, so. Uh, I'm going to jump off for now. Tomorrow, guys, we've got the Chicago Bulls going up against the Boston Celtics and also the uh, Melbourne Victory going up against the uh, Perth Glory, which should be quite interesting there. But wow, United got very lucky there. Uh, Cairns, if they didn't have an absolute moron in Scott Buddy Machado, Cairns win that game and Cairns win that game relative, not relatively well, but they win that game there. It's just stupid to go for the three in that situation and Cairns sh- should be feeling like they got robbed by their own player in that one. Uh, Declan Smith says, it was a joke. I would never do that. He's human and everyone makes mistakes. Well, yeah, everyone makes mistakes in the same sense like, People do do that. <laughs> uh, but guys, I will jump off for now. I do appreciate you guys as always. Um, like I said, two games tomorrow. On Wednesday, I am back in Australia. I'm coming back to Australia. Um, on Wednesday night, I'll be doing the NBL match between two teams. I can't remember who, two, who the teams the two teams are. Uh, but yeah, don't forget to go and subscribe to BKR Clips. That's my clip channel where from 1st of February, you're going to be seeing the clips from these streams, like the best parts of the streams where I talk about actual you know stuff. Uh, if you did miss the stream, so go and subscribe to that pinned comment in the chat, BKR Clips. Um, but yeah, all right, guys. I'm gonna jump off for now, and I will. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. See ya.